How you doing, buddy? Let me know. Can you see me? We've not dropped any frames so far this time. So I think it was that. Hello? Let me know when you can see me. Say hi. Hello. Hello, Ian. You can see me again? I think it's better. I think it was that because now I've not dropped any frames. You can see me. Hello. 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 What does that hashtag say? Hashtag rave. Love that. He came back. I came back. Sorry, everyone. If people have just left then, that's very annoying. But hello. I didn't go anywhere. I literally sat here. I'll show you Lenny again. This will make you happy. Look at him. Look at him. This is his favorite thing in the world. There he is. Just having a look out the window. But anyway, good morning. I think we're good to go now. We've got coffee. Who's got coffee with me? Cheers if you have. Let's do a, let's do a cheers. This is dangerous. Ugh. Cheers. Yeah, these people watching. You didn't go anywhere. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. Tea gang, if you've got a tea on the go, that's also good. I do love a tea, so... I can I I can I can get behind that. That's all good. Toy mug and the cup is a bit posh too. Lovely. Thank you, Ian. Love that. <laughs> Ollie went. Oh, he's back again though. It's fine. We've also got a squash. Rabina. Can I do the face thing with this? <laughs> oh, I look like the devil. That's cool, isn't it? Tea gang. Tea gang. Should we do a poll? Tea or coffee? Would like to have a confession. Oh god. Oh god. He doesn't like coffee or something. I don't know. I don't know where my crab mug is. Oh no. Maybe we need a, a second run of the crab mugs. Maybe I'll put the crab mugs back up, maybe. They were like, you know, just for the charity stream, but maybe we could do a new one of those. I think I actually, I've, I've got two. I don't know why I've got two. I think I ordered two accidentally and I broke one, so yeah. Uh, I went and brushed my teeth, came back to a black screen. Nice. Is it actually you hate music? I don't think it's that. Right, chat. Let's get straight into it today. First of all, though, before that, how are we? Let's get a vibe check. Can we do a little vibe check in the chat? Are we good? Let's see what our rating is out of seven. If, you're all, if your vibes are immaculate, it's a seven out of seven. If you're a little bit down in the dumps, it'll be about a three. If you're, uh, if you're feeling okay, it's probably a four or a five. Tired is a four. There you go. 6.9, baby. Rob knows. Nice. Tired from a 2 a.m. Ben stream, but feeling good. I mean, I watched quite a lot of that, actually, to be fair. I watched the Champions League final. Um, and that was about 1.30, wasn't it? So I did watch quite a lot of that. So I was there. I get it. I feel that um, that tiredness. I've been up and about and I've been to Asda's. I've been to the Asda's. It was a great stream. It was it was chilled. It was a long one as well, wasn't it? I, he's, um, I think that's a good way for Ben to get back into it. A bit of network. It's chilled. It's like basically just playing the game um, with your mates, isn't it? So yeah, it's cool. Uh, 4.5 out of 7. Lots of football to watch today. That is true. We've got a good day today. We've got some... We've got some football. We've got some FM first of all. Then we've got some football on after that, which is cool. Uh, ben is best in that setting. I think possibly, yeah. I think so. It's like pressure off and I think Ben thrives in that. I think you're probably right. Um, four, not great, but not crap. So I'll take it. Yeah, well, four's all right. Four's above average. Or above mediocre anyway. I'll be seven out of seven if we beat Arsenal. I'll be zero out of seven if we lose. Who's What games have we got today, chat? I usually put them up on the screen, don't I? But I didn't. All I know for the games today are... It's Liverpool at 12.30 against Burnley. Because, you know, I was just look for it. That's all I know. And then after that, I'll work it out when I... I mean, I have looked for FPL reasons at some, but I can't remember now. You need breakfast, nice. You've had cake, and I'm happy about it. You've had cake before 10. That is mental, Will. But I kind of I rate it a bit. Norwich, you're going to take a beating off Norwich. Okay. Ian, that is some prediction, that is. Chelsea is tomorrow. Got ya. Got, oh yeah, Arsenal, Chelsea, got you. City are going to take a beating off Norwich. Or Norwich are going to take a beating off City now. Ian, I still don't know what you mean. You're at work. You've been up since seven. Okay, fair enough. That excuses the cake a little bit, I suppose. Henkel, thank you very much for the follow and welcome in as well. Shall we chat? I was going to say move over to FM. Move over to FM. If Bruno blanks, I will not be happy about, consi about it considering I took the minus four. Yeah, fair enough. You can't do words clearly. Yeah, um, yeah that's fair. I mean, as someone who didn't put... Put him in for your first game. That is mental, isn't it? Cake in the morning is a very holiday thing to do. It is, yeah. Anyone downloaded Jack's new TCS skin? I've, is it out now, Jack? I know that he tweeted yesterday, or was it yesterday or very recently, saying it was very close. Um, I don't know if it's actually... I've not seen if it's actually out or not, though. But I've not. I don't really use skins. I've moved away from using skins. I just use the normal the normal thing, um, the, norm, the default skin at the moment. At the end of the last stream, we've not done anything else, by the way. We were crowned champions. So if you're new here, we are the champions of the Premier League. Newly crowned, newly titled champions of the Premier League. 
We won it last time with a 4-0 win against West Ham after Manchester United dropped points to Leeds. They lost 1-0, opening the, the gate for us. We were the champions with two games to go, meaning we've got two games to play now where we can experiment a little bit and rest some players and change things. I think it came out early this morning. I used the default, but the skin looks really good. It really does, Jack. No, I agree with you. It looks really good. It was a celebratory atmosphere. It was. This music's loud. Uh, it was very celebratory last time around. Hey, Kokota's gifted a sub as well. To add to the celebrating. the cele That was weird intonation on that word, wasn't it? To add to the celebration. Kokota, thank you very much for gifting us up over to Kenta. Appreciate you. Uh, I downloaded it. I put it on my FM. I got confused. Went back to Rensi. Too much information. Information overload. It's definitely a skin for those that like a lot of information on their screen. For sure. For sure. That is the um, the target audience, I think. If you like things simple, it's probably not for you. I'd probably get, get that. There you go. Thank you for thanking him, Kenta. Did you see the tweet thread about Craig Dawson on FM21? I didn't, Tom. Was it interesting? I didn't see it, though. Um, I'd like to read something like that, though. If you could link it, that'd be cool. As you're going to look for that tweet, anybody, you can go follow me on Twitter. What a plug. What a, you have to respect that, chat. You have to respect that. That deserves about eight follows now. <laughs> Has Woodward left United yet? I don't know. He said he was leaving, but I don't, it was in a while, wasn't it? Hutch! Hutch has been here for a year. A whole year. Amazing to see you grow the channel so much in the past year, but incredible effort from yourself. Not me, Hutch. You guys turning up and subscribing. Literally... I, all I do is sit here and play FM with a bit of stuff behind the scenes. But if you didn't turn up, I wouldn't still be doing it, would I? So thank you very much for the year's support. Tier 1. 12 month streak as well. What a guy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Oh, we dropped some frames there. It seems to have gone back to normal. Thank you, buddy. Can we show some love in the chat for a whole year there? Also, Ken uh, Coco to gift a sub over to Kaken. Ke Ke Jesus Christ. Kokota gifting a sub to Kenta Kabashi. That's hard to say, isn't it? Hey, Toast, how you doing, buddy? Premier League champions, I heard. Absolutely. I've got some bad news, though. Um, you are... Um, you're in the void. You uh, you wouldn't sign a new contract. So, unfortunately, you did leave. But we got you to 2030. You got to the Prem and then you left just before we won it. So I've got, that is my bad news for you. You wouldn't sign a new contract after being... You, you know how you can go to a month-to-month -month contract? You went to that and then you wouldn't sign the new one. So you've been in the void now and now you are um, you are no more. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, is that it there, Tom? Let me open it up and I'll uh, I'll have a read of it later. Um, I play... Oh, it's quite... It's on... on yeah, someone playing Dawson the Striker. I like it. Heard he was given one of the leftover medals. We absolutely made sure you got a medal, for sure. Just for longevity, you got one, yeah. Uh, are you worried about the recent changes to OnlyFans? Only will Lenny's account now contain no nudes? It will contain no nudes, I'm afraid, Dirty Dog. Yeah, that is that is the fact of the matter, I'm afraid. Uh, bang Average, welcome in, buddy. Been a long time not watching the stream. I'm coming back at just the right time, I guess. You are. As champions. As champions. 2030 is a very good effort, I feel, yeah. I mean, you were... You could have gone the Benny Ashley Seal route. Which is another one, really, that we're dragging along for the ride. He's now in our trialist team because he got so unhappy and then didn't turn up for training. So he's still at the club technically, but he's in our trialist team. And I can't actually, I can't actually have him bring him back. Like I can't put him into my my first team. I can make him available, or I can move him to an affiliate, and that's it. That's good. Indeed, Garn Storm. How you doing, buddy? Champions, champions. I should put that in the... Um, I did put it in the title. FA Cup Final, brackets, champions. That's what I've gone for. We have got an FA Cup Final today, though, chat. So that'll be our last game. We've got two matches before that. I'll show you here. Two matches to play. Sheffield United and Swansea, where we will be wheeling out the lads from the... Um... Oh, yeah, I don't know, Dan, actually. We'll be wheeling out the lads from the museum to play a couple of games. It's a, it's a shame, Tobes, because you could have played in these two games now that we are actually champions already, but... Unfortunately not. Then we play Liverpool in the FA Cup final for our second shot at an FA Cup. We've won it once before. On for a treble. Um, technically, yes. Because we won the Super Cup. But I'm not sure that really counts, does it? It's annoying. We went out of the Champions League, but it kind of was expected. J-Pro! We've had Hutch subscribing for 12 months. J-Pro's back for six. Hutch has gone Diamond Badge. And J-Pro, you've gone Gold Badge. Thank you, buddy. Thank you back. Thank you back. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for using your prime on the channel. We're 94% through a hype train as well. What a start. Uh, Ollie's not a museum player, according to the coaches. No, he's not. Is that still here? 
I feel like that should still be here somewhere. So I didn't actually continue the game. Uh, oh, I don't know where it is. But yeah, basically the board, the, the coaches were recommending that I brought, um, that I brought Ollie French up to the first team, which is mental. Whoa! Whoa, the diamond badge is slick, to be fair. It looks nice, doesn't it? It looks good on there. Whoa, thank you for gifting a sub over to Injexia Pay to Win. And that's our level one hype train. You do love to see it. Thank you, world. Appreciate you. Um, that is your... Does it say? That's your third gifted sub in the channel. Thank you, buddy. There is actually a gifted sub um, leaderboard down below the stream now. If you look on the about section, I've added the, the leaderboard. So um, you can be competitive. If anyone can beat Leone, you're an absolute maniac. I mean, it's never going to happen, is it? It's impossible. She set, she set her stool out. She's going to be the leader of that leaderboard forever, I think. Um, but yeah, you can now track that, though, if you'd like. Look at those lovely dancing crabs as well. Beautiful stuff. Mumbot with 40. Yeah, Mumbot comes through with the gifted. Let me tell you. She is... She's an absolute G. And not just because her name is Gina there, but an absolute G. She's earned that G in her name. Um, but yeah, usually, usually during showdowns, Mumbot comes through with the gifted, to be fair. Really, Leone. I mean, I dread to think. An anonymous gifter is in eighth. It is. Which... I expect anyone who gifts anon anonymously will add to that total, won't it? Can you see that I'm like fourth and fifth or something on there? Whenever I, whenever people redeem their channel points to gift a sub, I'm like quite close to it, aren't I? But on two different names as well. Um, we're set to break record goals, Tally. We need, we need one goal. We need one goal to break the record for record Premier Division goals, Tally. I'd like to think we could do that in two games, by the way. Timing is key. Got you. Got you. <laughs> it always is, of course. That is an, yeah, it's pretty good. We've been... I mean, if I show you the table, look. We've got the top two goal scorers in the league on 35 and 25. Which, if you've got the top two goal scorers and both of them over 20 goals, one of them... I mean, surely, what is the record forever in a season? Annoyingly, it's going to be when it was 46 games, wasn't it? And it's going to be like... It's 60 for Dixie Dean. Like, that's kind of makes it a bit pointless. Does anyone know what's the Premier League? Premier League um, record? Can someone find that for me? And then... Well, on our save, it's 35. So Bruno can beat Esposito's back. Do you know how much we said how good Esposito was? If Bruno scores one goal in the last two games, he beats Esposito. Alan Shearer. Yeah, I'd imagine so. What if uh, in one season, though? What's it in, in a season? Is it still Andy Cole? Like, didn't like, like Kevin Phillips got, was, I'm sure it'd be Ronaldo now, maybe. I don't know. In a 38 game season as well, that'd be even better if you could find that out. And that was in 42, was it? Cole with th in 34 and 42. So he's beaten Cole in less games. That's cool. Does anyone know what the record is for 38 match season? That might be harder to find out, actually. I think it's 33 for Salah for 38 games. Okay. In a 38, it was Salah with 33. So we've beaten the record. Look at us. Jeb Bruno is the guy. He needs to win it out right now and beat Esposito with his 35, doesn't he? So 32 was the record before that. That is uh, decent. Salah with 32. That's cool. I don't think that's going to be beaten for a while as well. That was some effort, wasn't it? That was, it. Was, that, that was, that was his debut season, wasn't it? Or was it the season after? His 32. I think it was his debut season. I have a feeling. Shearer had 34 and 42 as well, did he? So they're, they're joint. Did Cole do it for United? Yeah. Rather than Newcastle. 17-18. Was that his debut or was that his second season, Bay? I'm not sure. I think it was his debut. Um, we are in the team of the week. Pole, Radas, Cuisance and Bruno. Cuisance has got how many assists this year? 31. He needs... He needs eight to beat his record. I don't think he'll do that. Hansa City target. He, is he desperate to join? Um, I think he might be interested. No, he's good. I think Hans is good. We do have... Uh, we have Mario. He's very interested in Spurs. And we've got... Um, Botta very interested in... Chelsea. Those two actually do want to leave. Um, I'm hoping that now because we are... Did it say that he was desperate as well? I don't think so. But yeah, he's been linked for a while. Um, 
Botta and Mario definitely want to go. I'm hoping it'll change now that we've won the league, maybe, at the end of the season. You know, when it ticks over, we'll see. The window's not open yet as well, so I don't think it's too much of an issue. The fans want him look at City. Uh, as the top African score is actually just insane. Oh, yeah, mental. Uh, he's going to overtake Drogba in Premier League goals in like 100 fewer games. That is mental, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we've got a level one hype train. Thank you very much for the start of the stream there, chat. Very nice indeed. I think most of the drop frame issues are behind us, but there might be one or two. I don't know what's going on with that. It's annoying. Uh, Garnstorm says, just started a new save with Arsenal. Thought it might be fun to see if I can recreate the Invincible season. Anyone got a good suggestion for right back? Um, I can't remember his name now. Is it Caligari? This guy gets pretty good. He's not very good on my game. Check this guy on your game. He comes from Brazil and he's usually quite good. That's my that's my right back shout for you. I think on the newer update, this is on an older database. On the newer database, this guy's quite good on FM. Check him. Oh yeah, prediction by the way. Prediction League finishes today. We've got three games for it to finish. Dat P is currently the leader with three games to go. L Loren is a good right back, yeah. Let me know how good he is, Garden Stormer, because I've just seen that a few people are using him. I was like, actually, he does look really good. So um, if he's good, let me know, because I've not seen him on a newer update. Otherwise, Joachim Mela, maybe get him in. We love him. Um, we love it when a pro footballer comes into the chat, don't we, Tobes? <laughs> we love that. Um, right. We have got two games here in which we have free reign of the team that we play. Max Aarons is also unbelievable, yeah. If you can get Max Aarons in, he will be very, very solid for sure. We got, we've got we got free reign here to get who we want in. Now, things that I want to consider. We want Bruno to play because we want him to get the record, don't we? Who else should we think about bringing in? If I go to under 23s, under 18s. Tobes. Let's at least put him on the bench. Alex Bolton, get off my screen. Ollie French. Does Ollie deserve a start, chat? Does Oli deserve a starting goal? How good is he actually? Not very good. I'm, I'm surprised the... the uh, we could play Gun in one. We could play Oli in the other. Uh, yeah, Tobes, you should be in it already straight away. I just renewed it. So if you're in it last year and you're playing FPL this year, you should be... I think you're in this year's one as well. It's because anyone who's in last year's league, I just renewed. So I think you should be all good on it. Yeah, we need to say goodbye to Gun actually, to be fair. Um... But we could also play Oli in a Premier League game, which I think he'd like. So maybe we'll give one game to Oli, one game to to our mate, Angus Gunn. Uh, Mr. Heramir, what a great question that is. Thursday this week, there will be a tactic video with this tactic that it will be downloadable. Thursday this week. So yes, is the answer to that. I actually need to sort that before because... Oh, by the way, chat, I'm going to Kat's family. I'm going down to Devon uh, this week. So there won't be any streams for certain days. Uh, it's basically my holiday. So, um, yes. But there will be some videos, but content will, will slow up a little bit for a week. Just to let you know. Um, but yeah, Mr. Heramir, Thursday. Tactic video. Downloadable. Explained how you use it best. And yes. Play me second game. I'm about to get 5G enabled. Okay, should we give Angus Gunn his farewell tour here then? It will be his last ever game for the club. In football, it will be his last ever game. Oli French Jr. will play the last game of the season. Let's put Tobes and... Oh my word, what have I done there? Let's put Tobes and Dan on the bench at least. Why does it keep doing that? <coughs> As I scroll. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, Tobes and Dan on the bench... I don't know who else is going to leave that we might need to play. There's nobody that's definitely leaving other than Gunn. Um, I might play Romero just because he's our player. Rather than a low knee now that the job is done. We still need to keep things fresh ready for the FA Cup final as well as the only thing. To remember. Does Dan start at right back? Dan, you're actually one star. That's quite impressive. The coaches don't think you're that bad. Just had your second jab, didn't pass out. Yes, EJ. GG's. Well done. I'm going to bring Hadji back in, I think. Tobes? I mean, maybe Tobes could be the box to box today. Half a star. 
Are you going to do the same tactic video for next season tactic with three up top pipers coming home? Uh, possibly. If people, if this video goes well, Dirty Dog, then definitely. Next year, I think we try the three strikers, if we, especially if we can get pipers in. Um, and then if people like this video and it seems to go down well, then I'll definitely do another one, maybe with the three strikers. So, yes. I'm a baller. Just go about my development in quiet. Yeah. Are we really playing Tobes in a Premier League game here? This is what you get, by the way. If you get a regen rename, you might get to play Premier League games at some point. That's that's, that's what's happening here. There are there is a regen rename up for grabs with the pre, with the prediction league. If you win the prediction league, the prize is a regen rename, and you can take one of these players, and you might get appearances later down the line. Should we have you in a game? Everyone wants to see you see you, don't they? I feel like Sinchek should probably play. Just as a, as a lad. Alamele, farewell game? Or not? We'll put Alamele in for the last game because that will be his farewell game. He's been here a long time. Should we give Jurassic a run up front? Maybe Barrios? He might be going in the summer. And then... I think that. I think that. Who does Lenny think should play? Lenny, who do you think should play? Exactly this team. Got you. Love that. Um, or 75k of that sweet Clates coin. You could also use your Clates coin to uh, to buy yourself a regen rename as well. Basically, we very much weakened the defense and goalkeeper here. Sorry, Dan. We're strong at right back. And then we've got Toves in midfield. That's the changes. Should we do it? Play Oli. Oli's going to play the last game of the season, Callum. Toves, you need a number. Uh... Tobes isn't here. What number does, does Tobes have? Shouldn't Hans play to secure second top goal scorer? He's on the bench. Shall we start Hans? I can't get back now anyway. He's on the bench. We'll bring him on. 69. No. <laughs> what did he have last time? I can't remember. I've seen the... Just seen that Klopp versus Deitch today is the two longest serving Premier League manager. Is it, Tom? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Oh, I've given him 70 accidentally. Two people have voted 69, so that is a it's a done deal. When he goes, when he gets released onto a a month to month contract, he'll have a new a new number next time. I forgot what he had before. He, I think he chose his number before, but I've forgotten. So now he's got number 99. <laughs> Playing a Premier League game. The boys. Annoying. We haven't got more players in the in the museum to play. Actually, have we? Hey, Gabrielle. From Sunny Porto, beautiful stuff. Welcome in. Hope you're good. Yeah, we don't have many museum players left anymore. I think we've become a little bit, a little bit cutthroat with getting rid of them. Well, Benny got rid of himself. Oh my word, that was close. Have you had J2O spritz? Uh, no, I have not. Keeney, good morning, buddy. Welcome in. Great wine in Bordeaux. I'm sure it's. A, I don't think I've ever been to Bordeaux. But it sounds lovely, especially sunny Bordeaux, as opposed to rainy London, where I am now. Farias, good tackle sin check. We've got the ball back there. Hey, Fraj. Hey, Summerstood. Welcome in, guys. Do you think it's important to have a certain amount of players on attack uh, duty, support duty? Uh, yes, but there isn't a certain number. It very much depends on how your tactic plays out and how you want it to play out. But there is a balance, certainly. Yeah, I, I think so. It also affects how they play individually. Like, I like wingers to be on support because they they carry the ball more. Carry the ball more on support. As opposed to on attack, they seem to want to, like, they play high and they arrive on the ball rather than carry it themselves. And I want my wingers to carry the ball. So, certain things like that you need to, um, you need to factor in. You're in London, nothing else matters. I guess that's kind of true. Oh, cleared by Dan. Big clearance. So nice to been here for three years. Lovely stuff. Only issues the half empty football games. Eh. I guess you can get a ticket, right? That way. Do you expect SI to rework the whole defense support attack thing at some point? I think it's quite vague, vague and confusing for new players. Um, yeah, Fraj, potentially. Now that you mention it, there are a few things that it's very difficult to get your head into that mindset of a new player. I think SI and FM have got this thing where the player base is quite a it always has been, like, over the years, a dedicated player base. Oh, he's at the post. Bruno. Yeah, come on. Whereas, I think these days, they are moving towards actually trying to make it more mass market. And there's a difficult thing between there. Like, 
Are you dumbing it down for the dedicated player base? Dumbing it down with inverted commas, by the way. Because it's a very confusing game to play first time. Or do you make it more in-depth for that dedicated player base? I think there's a, it's a very difficult balancing act there. Uh, what would be the biggest up, upset in this match day? Uh, I don't know what which games are on. Can someone give me a rundown of the fixtures and I'll let you know. City losing to Norwich, maybe. It can be confusing for experienced players as well. I've been playing since 0102. Oh, yeah, no, exactly. It's, when it's vague like that, I think it's confusing for lots of people. You kind of have your own interpretation of it and just kind of go with that rather than actually understanding it properly, I think, with lots of things. Uh, I'd rather they focus on not making it too dumbed down. Yeah, I think there needs to be a middle ground and there needs to be there needs to be a bit of a mix. Um, That was a very boring half. Um, Let's check in on the lads, though. Tobes on a 6.6. We've got Dan on a 6.3 and yellow carded. It's not his finest hour. Not his finest hour from Dan. We might have to get him off. <laughs> Here comes Billy Gilmore. We're also not we're not playing very well, to be honest. But that is probably because we've got a few um interesting selections in here. Pulling your hair out because of the game sometimes. I'm sure you're not the only one. Uh Gabrielle, I'm a Liverpool fan myself to be fair whenever i see someone saying that the game is too easy it's usually people who have been playing it for a decade yeah oh 100 fraud yeah i think it's very really difficult to think about the new players as well once you've been playing for a long time because things become second nature that's a terrible pass was that tobes he's given it away for this if this leads to a goal or will it lead for a goal for us it's like that meme call the police but not for me or call an ambulance, I think it is. Bruno scores, and he's now ahead in the goal-scoring records yeah. for the Premier League. Bruno. 44 for the season, 36 in the Premier League. He is the sole record holder for Premier League goals in a season. What a man, what a signing. What a terrible bit of goalkeeping that was. Worth every penny. We need to do another madness this summer, chat. This summer where we sit down and think about who we're going to sign, which starts today, we need to do another madness to take us to the next level. We're on 94 points, by the way. It's quite quite a total. Um, Let's do some changes. I was a Dan Garvin masterclass, apparently. Would love set pieces uh, interface to be updated and weirdly would love to have some flexibility to edit kickoff and goal kick player positions. That's not a bad idea, actually, Gorham. That is a set piece in itself in a way especially lower league and set pieces interface needs updating i don't know yeah it, yeah it's just a bit it's annoying even if it just worked to be honest is one thing but i think it's quite a i'm not sure i oh, to be fair i don't mind the screen for it it's just get the people get dragged everywhere I just that just needs fixing i think is the thing there yeah i don't i don't hate the the kickoff and goal kick player positions is a bad thing at all especially like if you're playing another team, like getting your tool player onto the one side, maybe in the midfield, just dragging him back 10 yards because they're doing you with long goal kicks. That's a nice little thing to think about. It is nostalgia. Oh, massively regain. I've been playing 97, 98 um, Palmer on my phone. You can download. There's a way on uh, iOS. I think you can do it on Android as well. You can download Championship Manager 97, 98. And I've been playing it on my phone. Um, I would open it now, but you have to like, it's on this IDOS app. Should I show you? You have to kind of like log in in a weird way. Um, uh, C, D, C. I'll show you on here. DM 9798. Yeah, look. On my phone. And then if you do it. How cool is this? Oh, it's quite hard to control on here. But restore game. Open up my game. There it is. Do you want to see my team? Do you want to see my team? This is my Liverpool team at the moment. Uh, how do I show you that? Squad details. I'm aware that I look like a granddad in the way that I'm showing you this here, but... 
what a game. What a game indeed. That's my Liverpool team. I don't know if you can see those players. But that is Fowler and Owen, Renal, uh, Romario and Bakayoko, McManaman, Redknapp, Ruddock. I'm missing a centre-back because he's injured. But I've got Roberto Ayala to come in at centre-back. But yeah, there you go. That's the thing. It's on Twitter. I can show you how to do it if you want. In fact, if you want to know how to do that, ask me and I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the Discord. There's a tweet you can follow um, after the stream. But yeah, it's actually, it works really well. I've been playing it loads. Basically, whenever we're watching Love Island, when I'm watching Love Island. Oh, the drag, the drag in the lines on the tactics was a massive thing. I loved it. Uh, Bang Average, I'll let you know in the, in the Discord. I'll, I'll put the instructions in there um, after the stream, if you like. Um, start Phil Bab. Uh, Phil Bab's still at the club, but I play wing backs and he's not very good at wing back is the issue with Phil Bab. <laughs> Which is not a conversation I thought we'd be having. I'm going to bring on hands, I think. I missed the tracking of the lines massively. It felt like it made a big impact, didn't it? All good, Regain. All good. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely nostal trip down nostalgia lane. Plates bingo card, Phil Bab. Yeah. <laughs> That would be a good bingo if we had a very, like, really, really random bingo like that. What, by the way? Ainsley Matalan. Not that one. What a save! Angus Gunn. By the way, wingbacks in 1998, revolutionary. You know me. You know me. Went to watch the Galacticos age three because my dad was mates with McManaman. Still, really, Gabrielle? That's amazing. Gabriel, I'm going to go with, probably rather than Gabrielle, as I keep calling you. Let me. <laughs> Gabriel, I assume. Scene, by the way. Oh, yeah, I'm on the wrong scene. Uh, might bring Bingo back one day. We should make it really, really obscure. <laughs> like Phil Bab being a topic. Hans is going to score. That takes him to his 40th goal of the season. That takes us to our... I mean, that takes him to legitimately second, right? But Hans has scored. We're 2-0 up. We're going to win this game. A oh, wrong one. Oh, dear. I've pressed two sounds today and both. My PC at the time could not do anything but play CM98. I'm pretty sure mine was the same. Like I 0001 was the one I used to play, and I don't think, I don't think it would do anything else except play that. I'm, my uh, my auntie as well around her house had Champman. What I think there was there one. It, it was before 97, 98, but I don't know which one it was. I don't know the name of the games. I don't think it was 95, 96, or 96, 97. Maybe it was 96, 97 if it was. It had Ian Rush at Liverpool anyway, and I used to play that all the time. Let's get that FA Cup for the double. Steno, thank you very much for the eight months. Chat, show some love. Steno, how you doing, buddy? By the way, we've got a penalty, which Jair's going to take. Put Dan on it. I should have done, really. I didn't. I should have done. Bruno's going to take it and score. We want him to score goals anyway, to be fair. Uh, where's my sound for him? Here. Yeah. He got him buries this. I'm sure he does. I couldn't do it in time anyway, I don't think. Have you not... Sheffield United just brought on a guy called... Fat... I, I don't think so. Firat Hussein. I think that's who you mean. <laughs> Is there another one that was close to that? Oh, no. Farstad. Bard Farstad. Close, Keeney, to be fair. Bard Farstad is his name. <laughs> it's close to that, actually, isn't it? All right. We're going to... We've got a very tired Mario, but um, go on then. You've got one second to come on. Botter's on on the left mid. <laughs> We've won the game 3 0. Bot uh, Bruno's got himself two more goals. He's up to 37 for the season, I think, now, which is pretty good. We've got ourselves to 94 points. D Garvin and Tobias Larone have got themselves Premier League appearances, everybody. Who would have thought that? And we have got ourselves a very nice victory. It's not like the Arsenal defender. At least we've got... We've kept our nice Nike boots. Um, yeah, got you. Sorry. <laughs> um, good, thanks. I assume because you were French for some reason. Because you were in France. So, yeah. Gabriel, got you. Uh, hope you're doing good. Been in less streams recently. I've started my new job. I'm glad to see the save is going so well. Thank you, Stino. Thank you for resubbing as well, buddy. Appreciate you. Hope the new job's going well. I hope it's all going good. Thank you, Regina. Yeah, we've won the title. The United drop points again. Oh, no. That might have been a game in hand perhaps. This is our first Premier League title. Yes. It's a season number 11. First Premier League title. The history of the club block. There it is. Second last year. Look, this is our Premier League history. Eighth, seventh, sixth, second, and then there'll be another one here first. It's lovely. It's lovely. It'd be quite nice when this goes all the way to the end and it's only our seasons we've played. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Where did we start? 
there, right? That was our first season. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven seasons. Love your patience. Of course, you have to stick with these things. I, I mean, to be fair, it's you guys that are being patient as well. You guys still turn up to watch this save, despite it being 11 seasons in, right? Is Lenny still being a window dog? No, Lenny is... Lenny's no longer a window dog. He's a... Asleep in his bed dog, if I can move this. Where's his ears? Lenny, where are your ears? Oh, they're there. You just can't see him on there. Just been really enjoyable. I'm happy. Good. It's good stuff. Lenny's just asleep in his, in his little bed there, look. All right, we've got two more games. Well, one more game in the Premier League, which Ollie's going to play in. And then we've got an FA Cup final with Liverpool. Where did Liverpool finish this year? 10th. Well, they're going to finish 10th. Arsenal. Oh, Leicester have been relegated. We were looking at the relegation battle for players to go and buy. Leicester have been relegated. We want Villa to go down. If Villa go down, we can bring Ronaldo in as a fourth choice striker. Which I'd oh actually and to be fair not even him if Villa go down we buy this guy without really thinking about it too much if Villa go down we buy this guy don't we he's imagine him in the championship <laughs> are we getting a cat cam as well uh, as well as dog cam for next season maybe may, maybe dirty dog <laughs> bloody how physicals yeah Lenny fuming that his walk won't be until after Liverpool play I know unless unless cat takes him out to be fair so Gorkic is unreal he's good isn't he. I forgot Villa went mental. They did go mental and bought this guy for £90 million. Pounds, only to go and be 17th in the league. The thing is, he still costs an absolute arm. And we don't really have money. But it depends. If we go all in next year for this. If we go all in on this. And actually, if we commit to playing the three strikers because we want to try and sign a Pipers or somebody like Pipers as a third striker. To be fair, we don't actually have to sign Pipers. We could start Jurassic, couldn't we? If we do this, that does mean we have got the ability to sell Botta for 90 million, for example. We could sell Barrios for... I mean, I'd like to have a plan B and be able to go back to wingers, but it means that we can sell a couple of wingers, basically, doesn't it? I'm on little wages, no point. No, of course. We don't really have money, but installments. Am I right? Of course. Of course. We could also sell Arroyo, who's now scored loads for Augsburg, look. Like they like they might want to keep him. We've got players that we could go and sell. Let me get rid of some of these. Um, is my is my thing. Barrios. Where's he gone? He's got the centre back. That's why I couldn't find him. Barrios who's wanted by Liverpool, look. We could make some make some moves. Can't you retrain Barris and Botter to wing backs? Dirty Dog, we could. The only problem with that is that they've got six tackling. And I'm not sure I want them to play as a wing back without any tackling at all. Yeah, exactly, Dirty Dog. I don't know what Botter's is, actually. Botter's might be a bit better. Botter's got 10 tackling. Botter's a right wing back with 10 tackling. Is that passable? He's very, very versatile. He can clearly learn. Like, we've trained him to play right mid and he's natural there. So, I think he'd pick it up and be natural quite quickly. Should we do that then, maybe? 11 mark and 11 position is good. I mean, it's not good, but it's good enough for a wing back. Which is a very attacking role anyway in this team, if it would be. Well, maybe that's the plan then. Maybe Botter becomes a right wing back. And then he, him and Radas are basically competing for that spot. And then... We sell Barrios. Should we train him now? Yeah, I was going to say. Should we start training him now? Like, we've been training him as a winger support anyway, which he's now accomplished that. He's learnt lots of, lots of positions anyway. Should we play him in the next game? Even for switches in game, we should train him. Yeah, you're right. He's like Hakimi on, on steroids. Just whack him in as a complete wing back. What is the role that I use? Because this it is just a wing back. Should we play this in the next game? Just uh, just to warm up to it a little bit. It also means we can play our three strikers. And they can all get some goals. Should we do that now? It's not for a while. But let's maybe do that. And then we can... It gives Botter two matches to learn it a bit as well. Yeah, then I think we sell... It gives us the ability to sell... Uh, Barrios. Shall we see if Mario can play left wing back? What's Mario's tackling? Because... 
The other thing is I'd maybe train Mario as a striker. He can be our left striker. In fact, not before the... Ah, yeah, no, you're right. Maybe we shouldn't just change formation before the cup final for one game. You're right. Let's not bother. Let's train him there, but not do that. So, Mario is maybe not a wing back. He's got seven tackling. Sell one of them. I think Barrios is the guy to sell because he's a backup anyway. And he can't become a wing back. Less defenders, more work for me. <laughs> yeah. Um... What would you train him as? So say next year we're not going to be playing... We're going to be playing this. So he's either going to be a centre mid or he's going to be a left striker. Wing backs are defo wingers now. I mean, to be fair, yeah. Left forward. I think left forward Palmer as well. Here, this pressing forward. He's got everything that you need for it, right? And he'll still be able to play if we go back to what we had before. Where do I... Hang on, what am I doing here? Um... Mario instead of Mickey C. I think he's, again, he hasn't got the tackling. I wouldn't want to play him as a... We're going to play with a DLP and a box-to-box. -box and I wouldn't want to play him there. 11 finishing, I don't think is the worst thing in the world. The DLP still scares me with the seven tackling. Like the seven... Basically, we're, we're, we're trying to see here. Is the seven tackling worse or is the lack of finishing worse? And we're, we're, we're going to compare them. He's got 15 composure. He's got good off the balls. He's just got lightning pace. Dribbling and first touch really good. He's got everything for a striker except for the 11 finishing. And I think of finishing, I think I'd rather look at composure any, anyway. So, like, let's actually, what, is he missing anything else for striker? 12 concentration. The bravery and aggression are low, but I think lots of strikers you'll see that. True, but don't sell him his world. No, exactly. I, that, that's what we're, the reason we're even looking to see if he's going to be a, um, Another position is because I, I don't want to sell him. He's brilliant. And I signed him for 2 million. You know when you sign someone for very cheap and they become this good? You kind of want to keep them forever. He's left-footed, which suits the DLP. It does. It also suits the pressing forward on the left, though. Pressing forward support. See, I'd like him on attack, ideally. But maybe we could look at that. To be fair, can he play? He can almost play centre mid already, right? So we didn't need we wouldn't even really need to train him here. We might as well train him as a striker now anyway, right? Low aggression and bravery. Yeah, they are. But saying that, I'm pretty sure Jurassic's been playing it all year. Oh, Jurassic's are quite good. What are Jer Brunos? They're really good. Yeah, they are they are low. It is definitely a square square peg in a round hole sort of thing though. But I think instead of selling him, it makes more sense to keep him as a... It'd be a real shame for him to not start. Yeah, you get that. Nice. Crap tackling. Yeah, that's what... I think the tackling is too poor to put him there. Annoyingly, he'd be a great one of these, wouldn't he? Like, shadow striker in there, maybe. What's he like as a false nine? So I don't mind a false nine in the middle there. Because that is one change that could potentially work. I think so, Leone, yeah. I really annoyingly, I was supposed to go to the game today, chat. And I'm very, uh, like, just by Pipers. We, that's the plan anyway. Um, should be at the Liverpool game today. But I'm going down to Kat's family and I've not seen them in a year and a half. And there's vulnerable family and things like that that I don't want to... It doesn't make sense to go to a 60,000-seater stadium the day before... So it's just one of them. So I'm not. Does it have to be DLP? Metzal would be perfect for him. Yeah, I mean, ideally, I don't want to change the roles in this because this is the roles that work together. If you notice, the roles are very similar to this. And we've also signed all these people for these roles. So ideally, yeah, Gorham. But yeah, we will sign Pipers for sure. Should be given more match experience to play wing back to improve there. Very, still very awkward in his new position, but could improve over time. I mean, I think he's already picked it up. Look, he's already picked it up as makeshift. Six minute FPL warning, everybody. I played a 3-5-3 this year. Left mid, right mid. It worked well. Oh, yeah, I like that. I can see that working. I think the plan is, though, to kind of like blaze our way to the Champions League next year if we sign Pipers. That's like my plan. Get the three strikers in and just smash the goals. <laughs> 
Don't know who's captain. Ings or Bruno. I have gone Mohamed Salah. Yeah, 353 is too many, actually. <laughs> I love that. Anyone going to stop ball today? And people are like, yes. No goalkeeper. I like it. Total football. Uh, I'd recommend right mid, left mid, assume your CBs are big and fast. What, rather than rather the wing backs? It could be something we explore because if we're going to retrain our wing, it means Mario comes in for our left back then, doesn't it? And we don't have a left back. I see what you're saying. Can you see how good Dane Scarlett is on yours? I'm afraid, Palmer, he's not very good. We had him, actually, actually at Hereford. This is an old database, like the original database before it was updated. And he's just not that good on mine. Like, look, we had him in the championship. He played five games and had 6.64 and we, we cancelled his loan. He was terrible. <laughs> but I know that he's very good on a later database. Wingers or defensive wingers? I imagine just winger support, right? Yeah, he's, um, he's a beast on lots of people's. Just not on ours. He started for Spurs the other, um, the other night, didn't he? Thursday. In the Europa League. Scene. I am on the wrong scene. What am I doing over here? Right, let's put Ollie French Jr. in. Because he does play this game. Angus Gunn has had his good... What am I doing here? Oh, I've just put just those on. That's annoying. You're in. They were shocking. Yeah, they were. Winger sport or even wide playmakers. It's fine. Yeah. We found a really good wide playmaker. I can't remember who it was, but there was one we found. See, he'd be a good right back if we needed a right back, which we don't really. Um, do you want to see some of my um, targets, by the way? He looks quite good. This is one centre back. I don't know where we're getting any money for these are, but this is the centre back I'd like to sign next. That I think is possible to buy compared to a Bayo who is impossible to sign. This guy. Do we think he's good? I think he's good. Uh, use JWP as a uh, wide playmaker and he's just insane. But he is insane. He is. I fully agree with that. Can you look up a player for me? Arjen Reiki. Uh, yeah. No, he's not on my game. Unless you, this is different. Not on my game. Uh, Will Fish is a monster too. Who's Will Fish? Are you talking about Stockport or something now? I see. I see. Philly, thank you very much for the follow. I missed that follow before. I appreciate you though, buddy. Welcome in. Don't think it's worth it for Spurs to play in the Conference League unless it's the B team that play. I, I agree. To be fair, Chuby, yeah. It's difficult because you don't want to lose those things, but you also don't really want to play them. Uh, transfer spend. We spent a lot of money, to be fair, but not as much as Villa or Chelsea. We're quite close to this middle group. Look at that. City making a profit on transfer dealings. Who do they sell? Oh, my word. They sold £217 million worth of player. No wonder. I think that a lot of that was in one guy. £107 million for Mersinho. All right. I see why they've made some money. Look how good he is. Uh, and then Fugaza. They sold a lot of players. And then also signed a few players. He's okay. Yeah, he's all right, him. Mersinho. He's no uh, Jair Bruno, though, is he? Right, Finley Burns in a reunion. He scored an own goal last time we played Swansea. Our second level will beat other teams' first squads. Are oh, you talking about Stockport? I thought about Spurs then. I'm not sure about that. Hans has won German Footballer of the Year. Hans. Go on, Hans. Uh, there he is. German Footballer of the Year. He beat Mersinho. Who plays in Germany. It's a very weird award, this, isn't it? Jair, yeah, leading ever Premier League scoring, Bruno. Exactly that. Exactly that. Maximum they can name is a Europa League qualification, which ideally isn't what Spurs aims for. No. And they'd be aiming for that in the league anyway, right? So, yeah, I get it. All right, let's congratulate Hans for that. Good job. So, you've got German players and players who play in Germany for this award, which is weird. Because he's German, the other ones are Brazilian. But it's fine. It's fine. They play in Germany. So, I think that is a real thing. Um... Hans is wanted by City, PSG, and Atletico Madrid. Hans is good, isn't he? He definitely wasn't that good when we signed him for 19 million. He's quite good. Look at those attributes. He's only got 10 concentration, 9 aggression. 
check the progress. Yeah, the progress thing doesn't always show you it very well, I feel, though. Um, but the, 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 I'm not sure this really helps. But that graph, there's not... <laughs> like, doesn't sh I don't know what to make of it. That's the last month, obviously. Like, all time... Uh, let's put him on that. Uh, that. That doesn't make me think... Oh, yeah, I can see exactly how good he is. Like, here, the graph the, uh, down here is quite good. Can, I, can you see everything there? Most of it. Like, he's gone up twos and ones in places. But even... Yeah. So, I mean, he has improved. He's basically improved as, by one attribute in everything. Two in most important ones. So, yeah. That's in... That's all time. But he's been here three seasons. So, yeah, I know he's good. Like, that graph needs going, doesn't it? <laughs> if I wanted to see a straight line, that's all you're ever going to get because... <laughs> You should be able to maybe change it to like narrow in a little bit the parameters so it's like between 16 and 20 and then you'd see big jumps wouldn't you make more sense <laughs> change last but yeah yeah i got it yeah but even then when you go all time it was still a straight line uh sin checks out injured arroyo did you score again he did this is good stuff this is what you want from alone he's got 12 and 17. hopefully that gets that value nice and high and someone buys him for 50 mil and means that we go and sign Pipers. Pipers. He's wanted by City as well, I think. Imagine him in our front three. Imagine him as the middle striker with his either foot. As the advance forward. He's still only 21. Throw the absolute bank at him. An assist for McAllister Rivas. McAllister Rivas is one of these players in FM, by the way. That is, um, that is, looks very good. Great attributes. Doesn't score goals. Had one season where he scored goals. Like, he's just played 15 games for Hanover. Maybe Hanover are not very good, but you'd maybe expect a bit more than that, wouldn't you? Where were they in the league? I mean, they are quite good. They're fifth in the league. Like, I think it's deep lying forwards. They're just not very good. And he's clearly a deep lying forward. He lacks a bit of the pace. And then he's brilliant everywhere else, but it doesn't work. If you're playing three strikers, surely you want Arroyo as a backup. Probably, Oli. The thing is, we won't have the money else. We've got 37 million. Like, it depends if we can sell other people first, but yeah. And his only penalty was a, a goal was a penalty. Probably cheesy, yeah. Thing is as well, we might if we're gonna play three centre backs, we're gonna to need to sign a centre back as well, really. I tell Rivas ASAP, that's the plan. We sent him out on loan to hopefully boost his his value a bit was the main thing. Um, but yeah. Alright. Shall we go with the same again? I might start Hadji. Just because his sharpness is a bit low, and we've got a cut final next. So I want to keep this sharpness high for people who was who are actually gonna play. Um Alamele, goodbye tour. Paul is going to be fine, I think. Ollie starts in goal. Zapata's going to be fine if he doesn't play. Sitkov's going to be fine. These are just youngsters. Just no, sneeze six times in a row. I'm impressed. Love that. How many chat? How many times did I sneeze in a row on stream once? Because that was that was quite something. I think it was eight. You know, what's the setup as the three BPDs and what's in the? It's a BPD in the middle. Um. It's a stopper in the middle, though. Do we reloan Zapata? I think so. Was it seven? I can't remember. It was seven or eight, wasn't it? I think I tweeted it. <laughs> it was some effort, though. Definitely the most I've ever done. Well, maybe. I don't know. Definitely the most I've ever done on camera. Seven or eight. Yeah, pretty good. I know, who, I know a girl who never sneezes less than eight times in a row. Her record is 14. Wow. What a record that is. That's incredible. I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, any more starters? Because it also means... I don't know. I'm trying to think of where we can make money else next time as well. I'm not sure. Is she actually trying to beat the record? That sounds painful. That's something to write home about. It is. Libero greater than stuff, but I don't think we need one. Is that it? There's the status chat. Incredible England performances all over the pitch last night, but I did eight sneezes in a row on stream yesterday and the crowd absolutely loved it. There you go. You got CD saying, we want nine. 
And there's Stefan doing an X sneeze. Like an XG. <laughs> there you go. Get that girl in the big Guinness Book of Records. Exactly. Can you get Benny back? I don't think so, Callum. Shall we try? Shall we try just for this game? I don't think I can. If I make him available for the under-23s, do you reckon he'll show up with the under-23s? I don't think I can bring him... Like, I don't know how... I don't think I can play him. I heard you kill a brain cell every time you sneeze. Really? Does he show up now? Now that he's in... Now I've made him available? No. Is Radass ready for the wing-back role? Um... Yeah. Lacking a little bit in dribbling, but yeah. A more defensive option. He's got the physicals for it, for sure. And he's got... He's accomplished there, so that'll become natural, probably. Can you give him to Malvern via move to affiliate? I think so, yeah. I can try. I think he rejects it, though. So I'm not really sure. Anyway, is this the team? Do we need to train anybody anywhere? I should stop sneezing. I don't have many brain cells to lose. That is a real issue for people sometimes. Um, these guys aren't leaving or anything, so we don't need to play them. Yeah, maybe we should. It depends. We could sign Zapata for next year. I, I don't know. If we're going to play, we're going to need a left back, so maybe we should. Um, give Angus going a last career game. The, the instructions are basically the same as these, right? Surely the mini objective now is to get Malvern up the tables by giving them decent, decent players. That is kind of true. I don't know if those leagues are on. I think I've turned those leagues off now, though. I like Goatee. I'd love to sign Goatee. I feel like he's going to be... No, we can't get Goatee. Goatee went to Juventus. No, Inter. Inter signed Goatee. So we couldn't buy him. It's really annoying. Yeah, I think Inter sp spent like 50 million on him when we didn't have money and we missed him. Not that we did anything wrong to miss him, but he's gone. Benny to Malvern in the summer. If we can make it happen, if we can manufacture that, we will. <laughs> Train. Yeah, it was a Jan signing. And we didn't have any money in Jan. Um, here come Swansea, although Cuisance has nicked it. To ball over the top for Jurassic to shoot. I, he's going to take that as a shot, I think. You want Eric Bailly back at what is the... Yeah, we need we need JJ to put his hand in his pocket. We're Premier League champions now. We can't have a £37 million budget. Clearly, that's not enough. You want the Champions League, JJ, which I assume you do. We need some money. They're in. Ollie leaves that. Leaves rubbish. <laughs> Imagine you had to pay Benny that the 31k. Oh, God. Yeah, that's true. I hope that's not the case. If we draw this, it's a 95-point season. If we if we win this, it's a 97-point season, which is quite a decent effort, I reckon. I don't think we're going to hit the, uh, the, the goal difference total that we wanted of 100 goals, unless we get a fair few today. Uh, I feel someone will hit Sunday's release clause. He's got a new contract, Leone. Doesn't have a release clause anymore. We gave him a new contract. It's all good. He stays. Is Benny on a 31k appearance fee? He is, yes. It's fine, though, because he can't make an appearance for anyone. Oh, God, yeah. Malvin would have to pay him. We're 1-0 down. Abdullah Gomez used to play for us. It's a former player coming back to score against us. What is that name? What is that name? Jaggy Ho. Did you see that? Is it him? No. You? 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 Where is he? Appearances for the trial squad don't count. I, I assume not. He's not made any, so. Wow. He's got a double line on his L. That's what it was. It's jag yellow, but it looks like an H and it's Polish. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Yeah, you have conceded. Ollie's conceded, everyone. Dan's making tackles in the box. We're 1-0 down to Swansea. Before a cup final, we probably shouldn't lose this game. 
I'd like to win it, but we are potentially going to lose. We are playing Dan Garvin at right back. Gomez is in again here. No, he's not. They're in again, though. Oh, my word. What a goal. Ollie, you've got to be getting to those. <laughs> it's a great finish. We're 2 0 down to Swansea. Ollie out. What does he, what's he doing in this goal? We have got a centre back pairing of uh, Wink and Yoon as well. We won our last game with this team, though. In fact, weaker than this. Ollie deserves a start in the cup final after this performance. <laughs> I don't know. Quick friendly with the chocolate people. Maybe needed. Maybe needed. Get, get a friendly uh, set up with Cadbury. Uh, the L is pronounced as a W sound, as in wash. Oh, thank you. How would you say his name then? Double one of those. Jaguay. Jaguay. Whoa. Jaguay. Whoa. That's, com that's confusing. Because so I'm third choice and third choice only looking at this. Yes. Quick, rem remind rem <laughs> quick reminder to sign a second choice keeper. Yes. J is a year. Oh, I'm just confused now. You're much better than this, lads. I'm going to not throw a water bomb. I'm going to thrash my arms at them, though. It's been terrible from the lads at halftime. It's not changed much. 10 minutes of nothing happening. Here's David O'Leary with a goal kick towards Joe Vane. Brought down by Alamele. That was nice. Mario. Charge forward, my friend. Charge forward. Am I on penalty strikes? No. Our record Premier League goal scorer is. Him. Oh, he's blocked. Throw a water bottle because they are bottle jobs. Yeah. I don't think it ever really works throwing the water bottle, though. Not in my experience. Oh, God. They're on the attack again. I'd like a second half comeback, but I don't think it's going to happen. Have you ever done a Bill Bow type save? I, don't, I never have CRT. No. Jeb Bruno's in for 2 1. He's got another one. 46 for the season, 38 for the Premier League season. Good. Game on. Look at him. He wants a draw, at least. Uh, no, but CRT, I don't think I've ever done a like a homegrown only save. Maybe something for FM22 there of, of kinds. Um, let's make changes because we do have tired players. Let's do Prince on the left. Let's do Cuisance for. Venezuelan man. Let's do hands. Ollie's terrible confirms. Yep. Yeah, exactly, Ollie. I don't think we're going to send you up front. All right. Highlight. This is a free kick on the edge of the box for Jer Bruno to try and score. Which he does. He is so good. That is 47 goals for the season, everybody. 47. Yeah. Bruno. You're blaming you, Neil. You're going to blame you, Nolly. 47 for the season. What a free kick that is. Why has he not been on free kicks all year? Christ. Yeah, the Garvin stinker isn't helping. Helping. Bruno's a cheat code. He has to get 50. He needs a hat trick in the cup final to hit 50 for the season. Unless he gets another couple or another one here. Don't count him out of it. Don't count him out of it. It's like Makoko on Ben's network save. Yeah. Just a joke. Here we go. He might get another here. Hadji. Give it to Bruno. Barrios. Give it to Bruno. He might. Oh, what are you doing? He, oh, he's got another one. It's a hat trick here. He needs two. He needs two in the cup final. It's 48 yeah. for the season. He's got another one. What a player. Why aren't you playing the Argentine left back? Uh, it's Alamele's last ever game. Ollie. I played the... the la, it's his last ever game. It's his goodbye game. I played him in the last game, Ramon Diaz, to be fair. He's got another hat trick. I don't know how many hat tricks that is for the season, but I think it's five or six. In all honesty, I think he scored five or six hat tricks this year, which is a joke. We've also won that game in the last... In the last uh, minute, well, 89th minute there. We complete our campaign in the Premier League. We finish 
on 97 points. The goal difference, very unluckily, very annoyingly, is 97. 97. Does it tell us how many we've scored here? No. We'll have a look. I think we've got about 134? 134 goals for... And a 97 goal difference. Should have been Centurions let down. We could well have been Centurions. We've dropped. We've finished on 97 points, 97 goal difference. Very close. If Holly French wasn't such a chocolate fingers, we might have been, uh, we might have, <laughs> we might have got that now. Conceding two in the last game to take us. Oh. Luckily for him, he didn't concede three and it wasn't, we were three away, not two. But some season for us that. I'm enjoying the double 97. Something great about that. Yeah, right. Arsenal dropped out of Europe. This is Piper's opening. Did they? Oh, Arsenal have bottled Europe. They didn't win anything either. Piper's has got to... He's going to want to leave. Oh, Villa escaped relegation as well. Yeah, it would have been 99. Poppadon wrist French. Yeah. He's got breadsticks for fingers. Cat flat wrists, French. Come on, keep going, chat. I want more nicknames for Ollie French as a goalkeeper. Cat flap wrists, poppadon wrists. I want more. Keep going. I've gone for breadstick fingers. Um, smoke hands. Something like that. Liverpool are also out of Europe. Yeah, we thought that we knew that that was going to happen beforehand. Um, but annoyingly, Villa didn't get relegated. Burnley, Bournemouth, and Leicester go down. Surely that Longarchic wants to leave anyway, though, right? The leak, naan bread fingers, Weetabix, Weetabix wrists, yep. Ollie fingers, Kit Kat fingers, they break so easily. They do, they do. He didn't fall and stop the ball, no. <laughs> Poltergeist keeper. All right, had you close to, con oh God, 29 million. That's quite a lot of money. I thought it was going to be a long time until um, till we had to pay that. Did he play 50 times for us? We're now very close to paying 29 million from Hadji. Classy Jer Bruno, worshipped by fans. Surely he must be up for like Ballon d'Or. Surely he can't be far away from it. Look how many assists he's got as well. 14 assists, 40 goals. Does he need a tweet? Maybe let's wait till after the FA Cup final, but... For a first season signing, that's honestly about as good as I've ever seen. For a first season. How many goals did he end up? Oh, yeah. Harvey Elliott rumoured to start, is he? That's fun. Surely he's favoured personnel. I think that will update at the end of the season. Yeah. He won't be there yet, but end of the season he will be. Oh, no. Hang on. He's not. He's straight into icons. He's gone straight into the icons. It has updated already. Jurassic's on favour personnel. Hans is favour personnel. Paul and Benny still on favour personnel. Cuisance and Bruno in the icons. The only person in the legends is me that is on the game. Um, probably in midfield for Ox or Cater. Yeah, I'd imagine Ox. I, I would go Ox out. And Elliot in would be my guess. 68 goal contributions in 48 starts. He is an, he's an utter joke. Imagine he, we get Pipers as well in that strike force. Could you look up Jamie Hamilton? Uh, no promises he's on my game, but I can check for you. Well, I assume this one. He is a centre back. Elliot, I'm like a new signing. Oh, like a new signing, bingo. Yeah, they'll definitely be one of them. Uh, he's not made a prem appearance for us until this season, I don't think. Oh, really? Yeah, well, no, yeah, I guess. It's just annoying when, like, new signings are not new signings. So, I want new signings. <laughs> Hamilton at Hamilton. Was he actually? I mean, that is quite nice. I quite like that. <laughs> Aviolet is class, though. He is. He is. He is. Right, you were superb in front of goal. Praise for our victory. Coming from 2-0 down there. Look at this. He wants... Look, at who, look who's trying to get back in the good books, everybody. Daniel Garvin Jr. has heaped praise. Upon manager Clates, after Hereford pulled off a thrilling 3-2 win over Swansea City at the Liberty Stadium. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. He claimed it was Clates' words at half-time. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll. I do. I do. Him and Jones are 100% the future, that midfield. Uh, 
Probably. He's learned from his seniors' mistakes. He has. He really has, doesn't he? All right. Send the system. Why did you shout parched there, <laughs> CL? <laughs> he did learn from his dad's errors. Right. We've got 42 million into the bank. Our balance is still only 11 million, though. Can we get a bit more money for next year or not? The medal's been handed out. Benny actually still did not get a medal. There's some spare ones, though. You, you, these days, you're allowed to hand out your own medals, aren't you? If you want to, like special ones that are, that are, you can hand out. So he'll, he'll get one. Uh, if he's still at Hamilton, he would have been a one club player if he's there. He's there in real life. Oh, yeah. Then he would have been. That's cool. From the Crouchy Podcast for players that suck up to manager. That was their name. Oh, got you. See, I got you. I see, I haven't listened to that. So that just seemed really weird to me, but I liked it. Uh, I want to see more Kane Hayden and Musilavski, whoever or however it's about. I don't think it's about like that, but I knew who you meant. So, yeah. Uh, Jota's starting too, apparently. Yeah, 20 medals does seem very low. You're right. They must have played at least five. I mean, we don't have a big squad. I think our whole squad, if I turn this off, is 28. And that's with one, two, two people on lo out on loan and three goalkeepers. So it kind of makes sense. There'll be a few people that own, like, and actually that includes some people that shouldn't even be in there, like Tobes, who won't be in there, and Dan and Ollie. So our entire first team squad will actually be about 23, I'd imagine. 25. If Salah and Jota are benched, my FPL... Nah, Salah starts. Jota starts, I think. <laughs> yeah, like Rian Brewster style. Or you've gone for Rhiannon Brewster instead there. Uh, any of us that are not supposed to be in here? Yeah, not sure. But the next game is going to be an FA Cup final. So Fogman, Oli, Oli and Ryan are the only ones who can catch that P. The last match for the Prediction League will be this FA Cup final. Salah's on the match day graphics, so I'd assume he starts. First home game of the season. First home game back in front of a full capacity crowd. Mohamed Salah plays. It's, that's, a, that's a done deal. Be Jota for Firmino. Jota started the first game, to be fair. I wouldn't mind if Firmino started. I think he looked sharp, actually, when he came on. Uh, I'm new to FM. What do the white stars on a player's potential mean? Uh, so, for example, if I go to this white star here... It's unsure if he's... That's kind of like 50-50 whether he'll make that star. If he was nailed on yellow, he definitely has that potential. If it's white, it's like whether he develops enough, he might reach it sort of thing. It's kind of like a tentative star, if that makes sense. Would you consider and open up your first... Open up for first round points in your FPL league to count for us late bloomers? Uh, Dirty Dog, I don't know how to do that, but if it's possible, yes. I don't know if that... Is that possible? Like, people who have joined for their first round things to count. It does count anyway, doesn't it? I think so. But yeah, old Dirty Dog, if it's possible, yeah, then definitely. But I don't know if how to make that a thing. <laughs> I feel like if that was a thing, I think it should be set so it does. I'm sure it counts anyway. I think it does. It says points to be added after the next round. I think their points get added after you join. So after this game week, I think it will add them. I think. Because I'm sure last year we had people join late and it still counted them. So it should be the same. Uh, it's a record high for Hereford. We just got a um, a couple of achievements there. I don't know what they were. It was legend and something else. Can I see? Uh, excellent match cohesion. We got... Oh, legend for... You have won manager of the year award five times. And also... Excellent match cohesion. Reach excellent match cohesion. I don't think we just got that one. I think that must have been before. Um, people joined last, late last time we were in front of me. So, yes. Okay, yeah. You should be good then, old Dirty Dog. It should be fine. Uh, Weezer, thank you for the follow before. I missed that. That was ages ago. And also, King Viking, thank you for the follow five minutes ago. Appreciate you. Yeah, it should be. It should be, Dirty Dog. Cuisance, record high for Hereford, of course, is top of the league. 26 Premier League assists. He's beat his own record, everyone. Cuisson's got 26 league assists. That is, um, that's quite good, that, isn't it? That's pretty good. <laughs> We've also got Pep Guardiola has been sacked by Manchester City. They could be tempted to bring in Tuchel from PSG or Roger Schmidt or Rogerio Senni. Cup finals next, James. You've not missed it yet. It is next. 
Pep's been there since the start, and now they've sacked him. I don't know where they finished. Okay. Fourth. Yeah, fair enough. They sacked him. Uh, Josh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Took its time. What took its time? Oh, what? City? Uh, Jeb Bruno has won English Footballer of the Year. You'd probably expect that for his 40 goals in 36 games. Well done. Jeb Bruno won English Players Player of the Year, which, again, you'd probably expect. He also won top goal scorer. Hans came third. Why has he come third? No. I mean, he's got the same amount of goals as Esposito. And more assists, but he obviously played more games. That's annoying. But Jerry Osseni gets linked to crazy jobs. He does, apparently, doesn't he? <laughs> Freddie Inwig is a bold fraud. He, he, he very much is. So is Pep these days, apparently. Uh, English Young Player of the Year as well. He swept up as Jer Bruno. Completely swept up. Goal of the season was Mario's. This was a really good goal. I'm not going to watch it because it breaks FM. But it was a great goal. You just have to, um, you just have to, you know, take my word for that. Can we check on the lug man? Uh, yes, in a second. Uh, Ramsdale has won Golden Glove. Sunday's not in the top three. We've won Manager of the Year, which we will take. Okay, JJ's very happy with that. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. I want to do a save just in case anything doesn't mess up. Let's do a save. You're right. Uh, Rogerio said he got the Thames job, did he? I didn't realise that. Yeah, why does he become such a good manager? Like, well, not. Why does he get such a good rep as a manager in FM? Should have signed Rambo. We couldn't afford him. That's quite a good team of the year. Who's not made this team of the year? Hadji hasn't. And Zapata hasn't. Otherwise, it's our entire team. Annoyingly, we could have had a sweet, clean sweep there, but we've just missed it. Odegaard and Franklin Joseph. Franklin Joseph, who sounds like a US president, is at left back instead. That's upsetting. Did they make the bench? You don't have a bench. That's fine. Do we, do we have any last year? We only, last year, we had Cuisance and Jurassic. Before that, none. Before that, none. Yeah, we've not... Yeah. So, you've seen how far we've come there. Anyway, is he any good? What, Franklin Joseph? He's at United. He's right-footed. Oh, he's either-footed. He's either-footed. Plays both sides. That's fun. He's quite good. He has rubbish crossing and dribbling, though, which... It's basically all good regen right backs and left backs have rubbish crossing and dribbling. Proper Brazilian name, yeah. <laughs> He's meh. If you play 3 4 3, you can't complete it. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Dan's back, everyone. 14 months. 14 months straight from Daniel Garvin Music. What a guy. What a guy. Uh, scene? Why are you doing scenes, Lily? <laughs> You'd rather Zapata, yeah. Me too, to be fair. I'd rather keep Zapata and loan him. Um, all right, let's get to this FA Cup final. That's annoying. Team of the year bonuses. We've just paid out about £700,000 as well there. Can we see the lug man? Yes, of course. Sorry. What a ride. 14 months. What a ride. Can we talk about Dan not paying for us up? Yeah, actually, Ollie, you got a lot of, you got a lot of stick for that. And Ollie's been paying for his own subs recently. Dan is using his prime though. So if anything, chat, that shows dedication that we are the chosen stream. So you know what? I'm not going to criticize it. Oh, the team's out. Matic, VVD at the back. Hendo, Elliot, K to midfield. So it is. So Hendo comes in for Milner. Elliot comes in for Ox. Salah, Jota, Mane up front. Yeah, that's pretty much expected. I'm assuming Simicast Trent is the other two players that you didn't mention there. And Allison in goal. You only get one prime. Exactly. This is true. Nigel Lug. He's still a referee. He's dropped a couple of 4.6s and a 4.8 there. He gave three yellow cards in a 4.6. No pen, no pens in his recent games, though. Average rating of 6.92. Robbo's out till September, though. I saw he's back in... Um, he's back in full training. Today. Or Yesterday. So he could be back for he, he could be back for Chelsea, I think. Robbo. Uh Simicast looked class. Simicast looked really good until he was very tired. Very tired. Um after like about 60 minutes. And then he was a bit dodgy. But uh, before that, yeah, he was really good. Your Mergen's Jurgen's mate. As do you mean Violet or Scarlet, Ian? 
yeeted into the void. I can't check on Vo uh, Violet. I think she's still. I think she might be in the void nowadays. You can't really check on journalists. It's annoying. Yeah, got you, got you. Uh, yeah, gone Stormy, yeah. Violet Dobson, our favourite reporter, 2020 to 2022. Not dead, just stuck in long league. She showed up to a press conference in 2026 and Clates didn't go. Hashtag Galaxy out. That's the story of Violet right there. Not Dane Scarlet. We looked at Dane Scarlet earlier, actually. Weirdly. I might pick this team. Just I feel I don't know what I don't think it makes a difference, but I'd like the team to be picked before we're training. Otherwise, I feel like they're preparing for, for the wrong team. Does anyone else think that's a thing or is that just me being weird? I'm just going to pick the right players into the right positions ish. Put Botter in there. Haji Crease on Mario. And then Hans comes up front. Violet made some Schalke appearances. She was about in the Schalke cinematic universe. She was, yeah. Violet's in the Royal Box for the final. Of course. Of course. She's definitely there. Is that a thing? Is what a thing? It's definitely not a thing. You do do that. I see. I think people do it. I don't think it is a thing. Yeah, the Schalke Cinematic Universe, of course. Harvey Ellis starts. He does, EJ. Quite exciting, actually. And Robbo is on the bench. There you go, then. Oh, I'm being recommended to sign Christophe Lelivre. We should sign him. He looks good. He gets yellow cards. Look how many yellows he got in this season. 18. Liverpool FA Cup final. We're training penalties the day before. Megson didn't make the snap. Megson retired. It's a very sad time. You want a new contract, do you? I thought you wanted to go and join Liverpool. You can go and join Liverpool. Uh, I don't think it's a thing, but I think, but I like it. Yeah, that Simicast back in Klopp's basement for the rest of the season after today. Yep, that is going to be a transfer out. I don't know, actually. Maybe maybe that's one that you kind of wait out a little bit. In case there's an injury and I know how to change it. Yeah. it's definitely You feel more prepared for the game either way, right? Simicast was 4, four mil, 4.5 mil. So it might be worth keeping as a third bench option to save your 0.4 or your minus 4. Uh, team meeting. No. Hadji is linked to Spurs now. Interesting. Jason Tindall has evidently been feeling the pressure a lot. It's because you're not a very good manager, Jason. So that's probably why. It's a trap. We're not doing a team meeting. It's definitely a trap. Uh, Milner has a slight knock, does he? I hope Hendo's fully fit. Potter's trained well. And he's training in a new position. And he's still training well. He's still makeshift as a right wing back, though. I think we need to give him game time before he'll get better at that, won't he? Um, Radas wants to talk about a new contract. Should I say end of the season? Let's give him a new contract, end of the season. Okay. Uh, he's 4.1 mil now. He will back be back to 4 mil next week when he's sold. Sold slash dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tobias, thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Welcome in. I caught that follow straight as it happened as well there. You proud of me, chat? That was good, wasn't it? Radas is underrated. Yeah, I think so. You. You'll okay. definitely forget to give him a new contract at the end of the season. I won't, because there's like 150 of you that can remind me. Please. But I may forget. <laughs> Ox didn't make the bench. Really? That's an interesting one. How can you go from starting? He must, he must have a knock. He might have a knock that hasn't been mentioned, because you kind of have to play the PR on Ox. Because if you mention that he's injured... People pile on and be like, he's always injured. If you don't mention it, or maybe maybe people start to question. It might be mean he's leaving. It might mean that if Origi's not on the bench, maybe Origi's leaving. Because that seems weird. But then you could also argue the Origi thing is he's not on the bench because we've got we've got Firmino on the bench now, haven't we? Is it not just is it not safer just to presume that Ox is injured from the start at all times, world? Yes. But that's maybe why they've not mentioned it, or maybe they will. But not immediately, because People jump on that, don't they? People really criticise players for being injured all the time when it's like, I'm sure they don't mean to be. If anything, they probably try not to be. Is Lenny ready for the final? Lenny, you ready for the final? Uh, yes. Javier is pretty exciting starting. Yeah, I hope he can um, 
he can deliver. Harvey Elliott, if he gets a start here and, and does well, might be an FPL thing to watch out for because he, he should be points on paper. But football's not played on paper, is it? Don't really need Ox with those options. Yeah. Two keepers, Canate, Thiago, Firmino, Gomez, Jones, Minamino, Robertson. That is, two keepers is weird. Um, but that bench is strong. Thiago, Firmino, Gomez, Jones, Minamino, Canate, Robertson. That is a strong bench. FPL is kind of playing on paper. That's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. Um, Lenny dreaming about the CM Punk return. Was that last night? I saw people tweeting about things. I don't really understand it. Did, did he return? Or is that a spoiler? I don't know. It's not a spoiler for me because I don't... I don't understand it. Um, your FA Cup final team will be in goal. Can we get a round of... Hey, Sunday Williams. Hey, right back, Alan Radas. Centre back, Segovia and Sitnikov. Hey, left back, Zapata. Hey, Mario on the left hand side. Botta on the right. Hey, Quisans and Hadji, your central midfielders. Hey, and up front... Record-breaking, record-breaking Jair Bruno alongside Hans Gruber. Here we go. CBA type way every time. It's fine. That's fine. Thank you for the um, thank thank you for the engagement there, everybody. Appreciate it. Livid LFC. Thank you for the follow. I'll be me later if we don't win. Um, is this the team? Are we good? Are we good for an FA Cup final? Let's do it. It's nice when an FA Cup final doesn't feel quite as important, if you know what I mean. We've won the league, so this is like a lovely bonus if we can win it. We've been on a good run lately. It's obviously be nice to win, but yeah. Bottles ready, lads. <laughs> Unless they're playing 43 when I take it, midfielders on the right of the midfield three. I'd imagine so, yeah. Besides Goodmanson and Chris Wood, it's so Brexit. And Chris Wood somehow managed to fall into that that um, that that category anyway, doesn't he? All right, here we go. First highlight of the game. We're underway. We, as we talk about Liverpool, we play Liverpool here. Who they actually have Canate, which is quite cool. I don't know if it's the same one. I assume it is. Hadji with a tackle in the midfield. Hands. He's got Bruno. We're on the attack again here. Bruno's going backwards. Cuisance ball over the top. It's a poor ball, and Liverpool. Hadji keeps winning it back. That's twice he's done that now. Hands. They look quite resolute in defence here, Liverpool. Botter. Can he get to the byline? He can. It's cleared. Radas picks it up. Three minutes on the clock. Oh, my word. That was blocked. If that gets through to Mario, it's 1-0, isn't it? It was a blocked cross. Zepius, thank you for the follow. It was a good start, though. We looked good in attack there. That's, that's good, Dan, actually. Hadji in the midfield. I think he's made a good start to this game. Mariba's down injured. He scored four against this one, I think. Hans. Cuisance. Mario. They're like, we've, we've parked on the edge of their box a couple of times already. Hadji. Botter. What football. What a finish. What a goal. The football here is unbelievable. That's point. If Mariba is available for 15 mil, bring him in. I, they really should be, shouldn't they? This football is unbelievable. Total football, liquid football. Had you with a little pass into Botter. Botter's finish is like an arrow, and the goalkeeper doesn't really move. The new right wing back, everybody. Bull ball. We haven't had that actually. I haven't had Clates ball come up as a thing. You know, in a, oh, it's annoying. I'd like that. Unbelievable. But, ah, right, we lead in the FA Cup final here at Wembley. And we're all over them. Look, winning this ball back. Good football from Liverpool to avoid the press. But Cuisance wants this. He's hurried them into mistake. Bruno's got it. He's got hands in the middle if he can find him. He might go alone. He tries. It's straight at the keeper. Botter in uh, Portuguese means boot, does it, James? Love that. He did botter it into the bottom corner, didn't he? Right mid curse, start, uh, starting curse over. Yeah, maybe. Botter's been sensational this year. There's a... To, to think as well. We tried to sign this guy. He plays for Liverpool. It would also have been good. Mm, I was going to say right wing back. He's only got nine tackling himself. Where's Alisson? I think he may have retired now. I think. I think just. not. He's been there for most games. I think this season it's changed. Bruno, we've got this back. Hands. Hands goes alone. Hands is through. Saved by Sosoto. Butter. Straight to the keeper. Poof. 
Burnley become the first team since Charlton Athletic in the second game of the 98-99 season to start a Premier League match with the players whose squad numbers are 1-11. to He didn't say quote tweet. Hadji, straight to the keeper. We are... We are camped, besieged on the edge of the Liverpool box here for the first half an hour of this game. It is only 1-0 though. As we've hit... I mean, our XG must be through the roof. That chance alone must have been about a 0.8 XG. Is Kuasi a striker we looked at? Six foot five striker, really very good. But Sitkov just makes light work of it, to be honest. Quote tweet. Uh, Michael Jackson went to Wolfsburg, I think, not Fla. I think that he was transferred, so I think he went to Wolfsburg for about 22 million. I think it was Wolfsburg. Maria, we're on the attack again. Bruno's in for 2 0. Bruno finishes these. He doesn't finish that one, though. Mario, still a chance. Botter It's bouncing around. It's away. <laughs> How will we not more? They haven't had a shot yet. They haven't had a shot yet. It's a mistake in the back. Hand slides it. How has it not gone in? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's a chance at the other end for Corvino. Oh, they've scored. <laughs> no. Football manager, what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you will never see scenes like this. <laughs> it's a great finish from Corvino. What was Hans doing? Sliding around. <laughs> Why didn't we score? It's 1-1. It's their first shot of the game. Christ alive. We've had a 2.4 XG already. At half time, we go in at 1-1. Somehow. Somehow. Why is it dollar sign clates at FM? That's not even my name, Streamlabs. What does that even mean? <laughs> You've been FM's. I think we have there. How are we not winning this FA Cup final? I'm going to say I'm not happy. We need to go out there second half and get ourselves a win. They've made a sub. Pitt is on for Mariba, who picked up a knock. Liverpool on the attack here. It was Pitt who was looking to get on the end of it. I'm, are we going to Are we gonna get FM'd here? Surely not. They're in again. It's Thiago. Good save, Sunday Williams. Ah, got your eye on. That makes sense. Still, my name isn't even Clates FM on Twitch, so I don't know how they've still got that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what a game of football! XG is expected goals, James. So they'll take, they'll look at every chance that's been had, like every shot at goal, and they will come up with a rating for it out of one for it, whether it's a guaranteed goal or a very unlikely goal, and then it adds it all together to give you an overall XG. I think that was a decent way of explaining it. Hans is in. Hans is in behind. Hans finishes. We're back in front. 2-1. Hereford lead at Wembley again. Hans Gruber is a hundredth goal. 100 for his Hereford career. Hans-tastic. Paul is having a mare. He is. He's down at a 6.1. I feel like we should probably get him off down that low. Hans loves an FA Cup final goal. Hans, who got a, a hat-trick against Manchester City the last time we, we were here, has got himself another. He's just on side. Canate keeps him on. The finish is good. Into that corner. And we are leading with 15 to go. I actually think I'm going to have to change this defence. A 6.1 and a 6.3 is an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? Yoon is decent at Wembley. We're going to bring Yoon on. We're going to bring it on. Bring it on. Bring him on. Oh, Dan. GG's. GG's. That is good mod work. Basically, chat, if there is anybody can do this, but mods especially, because I know you are very reliable. If there's anything that's like TikTok worthy or short video worthy, please clip it so that then I can find it really quickly to turn it into one of those things. Um... Thank you. Or timestamp it. Also that as well. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to have to keep Radas, I think. With the 10... Shall we do the thing? Bruno's not really showed up too much here. But I think... I think we... We, we go smart here. I think we go smart here and do this. We'll do Bruno off for Venezuelan man. We'll do this. Marker is great for that. It is, yeah. It should be on. That should work. Please loves a banger. Of course. Um, titled 
Liverpool on the attack it. Titled uh, clips are probably the best way to go. Corvino. Sit the cob. Don't you dare referee. Inch perfect tackle. Love that. You don't have permission. I'll, need, I'll change that, Leonie. I'll change that. Not myself out a TikTok account, but I still watch. Thank you. Iriarte. I did a new one yesterday, actually. Venezuela man shoots wide. Eight, seven minutes to go. They need to be editors. Got you. Um, time wasting on. I said with an incident, apparently you can't do that anymore. Okay. There's actually highlights, which I don't like. Can we see this one through, please? We'll have a look at that after this, uh, EJ. Oh, my word. Liverpool on the attack. Saved by Sunday. Saved by Sunday. We've got three minutes plus added time to navigate. Do we have another sub in us? We've got another two, right? Another one. Another sub. Let's do another sub to run down this clock. Let's do Barrios for... Let's do Bolton for Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ollie, yeah. It's done. We've won another one. Another trophy for the cabinet. Hereford FC are FA Cup champions to add to their Premier League title. Sunday Williams is going to be lifting another cup. Come on. We are good. We are good. Another show done. I really need to change that, don't I? I bloody love balls. Sunday Williams. Hooray! Lifts the club. The club? The cup. <laughs> and Kokota's gifted a sub to the FA Cup. You do love to see that. Thank you, Kokota. Let me show some love in the chat. Want another showdown. Up the balls. Tobes loves it. If he wasn't in the void, we could get him back for this. But there we go. Come on. Get in. Get in. There should be a trophies thing, shouldn't there? There will be a... Um, I need to update the history graphic to show an FA Cup win and a Premier League title for this year. We have defeated along the way. Pretty good teams, actually. Liverpool in the final is... A, I mean, after after not winning that first half somehow, it was a bit, a bit awkward. Uh, Leone's gifted too. Thank you for gifting the subs over to Maltese and Bondi. Thank you. Yeehaw. I like that Garden Stormer. Leonie, thank you for gifting another two. How many is that now? I like to read this out. 373 in the channel. What an absolute G. Thank you, Leonie. Another two. Chat with the uh, with the love. Get your crabs. Get your Lennies. And let's let's have a look then at our transfer targets for the summer. Let's get ourselves into transfer mode. Jason Tindall's been sacked, by the way. Jason Tindall has actually been sacked. Pep to Liverpool? Pep to Liverpool here, chat? What do you reckon? That P also, GG's. That P has won the prediction league. That P, you get yourself a regen rename. Uh, we'll do that next stream if that's okay. We'll have a look at that and you can rename one. You can either wait for the new intake or you can rename one now. You can use it whenever you want to. Will Pep come in as an assistant? I highly doubt it, but we should try, shouldn't we? He won't. He won't. <laughs> about time pep to hereford assistant manager i heard that would be cool wouldn't it we receive another four million which is good stuff we've won a treble apparently look at expiring contract keepers yeah we need a backup to be fair let's do that um hans picked up an injury there that's fine the board are delighted chelsea are there to oh my gosh you know how we're retraining botter chelsea are looking at him for 102 million pounds Liverpool training tops look like pyjama tops. Yeah, they do. They're nice, though. £102 million. Klopp's at Real Madrid. Uh, Chaga Malaga. He's good. He is really good. The fact that he's 21 and... I reckon he'll keep, keep improving until he's about 24, 25. He's got perfectionist personality as well. I take 102 million and give it Pipers. Yeah, considering he's going to be a right wing back and we've got Radas, I'd prefer not to, but it is something maybe to consider. 13 mil in the bank. Are we going to make money? Yeah, we should basically stay the same on money. 37 million to spend. Now, do we wait until the... Wouldn't sell bottom for that. 150 mil, take it or leave it, yeah. Has Lampard been at Chelsea the whole time? I think he has. Yeah, he has. Somehow, Lampard is still the Chelsea manager. Very weird. Um, tell you what I'm going to do, chat. I'm going to run to the bathroom very quickly. Uh, have a wee. 
I don't know why I told you that. But I will be back in a second. Um, I may press, press some ads just so that they run. But I'm not going to be doing anything anyway. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a sec. Um, appreciate the info. You know, I like to share these things. I'll leave you on this screen where you can have a look at our, you know, some stats. Some stats here. You want Lenny Cam on? There you go. I'll put Lenny Cam on. You'll see my legs walk past there now. So that's very exciting for you, isn't it? Um, right. See you in a minute, chat. I will be back. Let me turn this one off. Back in a second. Lenny came to the door because I left. So so we put Lenny Cam on. Here he comes, look. We put Lenny Cam on and it, it was for nothing. Lessons have been learned, chat. Lessons have been learned. I'm back though. Lenny's now sat in front of his bed. He basically, I left so he wanted to leave as well, didn't he? So lessons have been learned. Um, Already heard like a new signing in the football about Van Dyke, not Elliot though, I see. There he is. Lee's back, look. Now he knows that he doesn't... I'm not leaving him in here on his own. He's, he's, he's back. Hello, everyone. I am back. Right. Let's... Question here. Do I... Do we wait until the season ticks over before we start trying to sign people? Do we start trying to sell people now? What is the... What's the plan of attack for the summer? Basically, I think in terms of how we prepare for the summer... Let's have a look at this screen here. I think we go for it next year. We'll always have this as a backup because we know it works. But I think we go for it and go for the Hereford Spanner and then we we try and get another striker in. Right mid, left mid. I want to go for this to start with. And I think this is the plan. Let me put the players in. I think Bottom might want to be a starter. I, I really like the idea of that, to be honest. Liam! Liam with the 10 months. How are you doing, Liam? Thank you for 10. Chat, show some love. Our favourite Wigan man. How are you doing, Liam? Thank you for the 10. Take him to Blackpool Pe Pleasure Beach. Yes. We will do something that is akin to this. If I remove that... In fact, let's put Jurassic in there for now. Jurassic will be made, hopefully, Pipers. I think you need a replacement for Cuisance. He's over 30. James, I agree. 
One doesn't exist that does his job. Although his pace is dropping, strength dropping. It might be time to really start thinking about this. It's just we haven't got enough money to do loads of this. Mm, I don't know. We do need another center back, I think. Paul, Yoon, Sitikov. I think Sitikov should be that guy. We do need maybe another right-sided center back. You're going, to black, you're going to pledge reach on Monday. Love that. That's great stuff. I think this is the plan. And that leaves players that we could sell. Winks. Wink, sorry. We could sell Barrios. We could potentially sell Vukadin. Not that I want to, but we've got a lot of we got a lot in that midfield. We could sell Arroyo. If we sign another striker, we could sign sell Rivas. What's your attacking width on the spanner? Uh, fairly wide. Mario is a weird, like, odd uh, uh, here. Puissance will be our Milner, yeah. I just don't know who is our new one of those. It, that doesn't really exist, does it? It can't really exist because he's... He's so unique because it's his corners that makes him really good as well. We definitely can improve, but then, like, look how good he was last year. Josh, thank you for the follow. I feel like you followed earlier. Did you follow again or is that a different... It's a different account. Josh Dem one thank you for the follow. Ollie saw my hero today. It made me sad happy. Ah, oh. Do you know what made me sad happy um, today? So I went out to Asda this morning. Last night, Kat and I got a curry, an Indian. It was very nice. I ordered mango chutney. This was the delivery room. As you do, ordered some mango chutney. Got the curry out, everything, everything was there. No mango chutney. I was like, oh, that's annoying. But it was like, what, 50p? So it doesn't really matter. Open the door this morning. What was on the doorstep? A little tub of mango chutney. The delivery driver obviously realized and then put it down on the doorstep for me. Like, I think he might have rang me, but I didn't see him. <clears throat> like, that's... That, does that make you happy, Sad? That makes you ha That makes me happy, Sad. Like, that was a nice thing. He didn't have to do that, but... Also sad that I, I missed it and didn't see what a nice little thing. You don't get free chutney. Uh, no, I don't think you do. Well, sometimes you do, but you can't risk it. It's the same with, like, prawn crackers. Do you, I really like prawn crackers if you get a Chinese, but sometimes they put them in for free and sometimes they don't. So sometimes you have to order them to make sure. So, yeah. You have a funny story about fish and chips? Who wants to hear it? Everybody, Callum. <clears throat> I can't believe the mango chutney didn't end up all over your door since you were living in London. It's not quite how it works, I don't think. I've never had a mango chutney door in all the years I've lived here, which is about eight years now. <laughs> Alright, send assistant to that. We've won the FA Cup. We've paid our bonuses. What? We paid Bayern Munich 133k for winning the FA Cup. That's upsetting. You always get free cracker. I think we usually do, you see. But it's also it's still a bit of a risk, isn't it? We have a spare chutney in the fridge. Okay. You get free cap crackers and spring rolls of yours. That's decent, that. There's no really good Chinese in London. There's, that's that's the issue. <clears throat> Relatively, Ian, yeah. <clears throat> Never been chutney doors. Lucky you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Some some of us get to live that sort of life. Very lucky. Very privileged. All right. We will... What are we on on wage budget? We've got 157 on wage budget. Also, Alamele leaves. So that's 30 more K. Should we offer up Barrios? Apparently it's made. I haven't ever been actually, Ryan. No. Just throws a curry sauce in there too. I mean, that's amazing. I was meant to be going to London today, but my mum decided to have a birthday. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody mum. Chinese curry sauce is good, that, isn't it? Are the ticks in London, are they? Who are they playing? All right. Shall I offer out Barrios? He's wanted by Liverpool. If we can get... I think he's our one to sell. Because I actually think he's got quite a lot of gaps in his game anyway, right? Amen to the no good Chinese. However, with tooting on the doorstep, who cares? Curries. Exactly. Yeah, true. Old Charlton, is it? Shall we offer out? Or shall I wait for a bid? I always don't know what's the best thing to do here. Does this... If you offer him out now, does that encourage a lower bid? If I... Let's offer out maybe unspecified to start with. <clears throat> He'd prefer to stay at Hereford, but is open to speaking to other clubs. Basically, we're hoping that Liverpool come in for him, right? Go all in on the 3-4-3. Show everyone that doesn't fit the door. That means players like... That does mean players like Mario. And I'm, I'm not willing to let Mario go. He's too good to let go. 
And the fact, I mean, he is wanted. The fact we sold signing for 2 million makes me want to keep him even more. He is wanted by Tottenham, though. If they offered 100, maybe I'd think about it. Uh, so me and my dad rode down to the fish and chip shop to get fish and chips. And when we got home, we realized there was only two small pieces of fish. About three hours later, I went out to put the bins out, saw a bag on the floor and opened it, found out it was a second piece of fish. There's your story. Was that because you put it in the bin and you just didn't find it immediately? I think you need a minor backup to go back to the 442 if mud occurs. I agree, Ian. I'm hoping, though, that the backup already... If we keep Botter, Botter goes right mid. Radas goes back to right back. Maybe we need another one on top of that, you mean? Possibly, yes. Possibly, yes. I mean, he fits CM. Yeah, he kind of does, Shager, yeah. Kind of. It fell out the bag. Oh, no. That's upsetting. It's a great story, though. I love a fish and chip story, of course, always. All right. Chelsea are watching Botter. 150 mil for him, please. Are Liverpool going to make a bid without a manager? Because they just sacked Tyndall. So if we miss the boat a little bit, maybe. I like fish curry. Fish curry is delightful. I won't hear otherwise. I did not have fish curry last year. I had, uh, last year. Last night I had a vegetable curry. It was nice. Um, it was 50% off, so I had we had a feast. It was good. I went to fish and chip shop the other day and saw a fish get battered. Oh, poor fish. Fish and chips was goated. Cat doesn't that's not a massive fan on the fish and chips. Only every now and then. Uh parkour Lenny. Yeah, sorry, he was on the he was on the stall. He's back in his bed now. Alright, season review. <clears throat> Transfers in. Should I do a... How do I best do a tweet on this guy? Should I just tweet this? Is that basically it? Because then you can see all of his stats and you can also see his, his season for us. And I'll tweet something like, So, Jer Bruno had a good debut season. Bruno. Had a... Decent first season at the club. Let's do let's do the the eyes open wide emoji. Where's that one? That one. There we go. What a tweet. Uh, Mushy peas are very hit and miss for me. I'm picky when it comes to ones I like. You know the ones that have like a bit. They're a bit watery. They're not as good. Too watery is bad for mushy peas. I want mush. Oh, did I miss out? Where was the rest of the season review? Just clicked off of it. Oh, well. Uh, overall best 11 has been updated. There are some lads in the overall best 11. Yeah, watery is bad. Oh, look. Everyone's on the watery hype. Exactly. Which piece of mint is nice. It is good. Uh, sorry, Lenny. I'm just going to move you very very briefly. Sunday, Windal. Do you want to come home, Windal? I miss you. He's not very good anymore, but I miss you. Uh, Yoon, Paul, Sincheck at right back. Mario, Tom Holgate is still in the overall best 11. Overall best 11, Tom Holgate. Cuisance, Barrios is still there, who we're thinking of selling. Hands and Jurassic. Is Jurassic wanted? See, what if what if what if Jurassic got a hundred and twenty million pound offer? Would we would we think about selling him then? Uh how's your week been? Been alright, thank you. All good. Where's Tom Holgate now? Uh I don't know. In the void somewhere, I think. Can't believe Hadji hasn't got in. Yeah, true. Benny's still on the bench. I'm still I'm still Benny on the bench. Bye, bye, bye Jurassic. For, for a big bid, yeah. Uh, Tom Holgate is at LA Galaxy, which I quite like. I can't believe we finessed Norwich out of 4 million for him. Jurassic should rotate with the three strikers. I agree, but if we get big money, yes. I agree. 100 million plus, I think we sell. I think if you get 100 million for any of your non-starting players, I think you kind of have to say yes, don't you? When, when you were struggling for money anyway. Super off topic, but what are your opinions on golf? Uh, I like watching the Masters and the, and exclusively the Masters. Maybe a Ryder Cup every now and then, Garn Stormer. I quite find, I quite, basically I like tracking it on my phone. I don't play golf because I'm not very good and I find it all a little bit pretentious, uh, if I'm honest. I don't like going somewhere and being told how I have to dress and not really knowing the etiquette. It's, um, I don't like that as a feeling. Like, oh, am I doing something wrong? Like, oh, going to, like, so that's my thing on golf. Um, so fair. But yeah. Crazy golf is the best form of golf. Yeah. 
Uh, I paid 45k for Freddie Woodman in League One. Now I'm in the Champions League. He's England's number one and worth 45. Yes, Palm. I love that. Love that. How for best 11? Where are they now? Gomez still at. How's Gomez doing at Ajax? He's wanted. He's had a good season. I reckon he gets a big move. Arsenal, Roma into Arsenal, maybe bringing Gomez in to replace Pipers, perhaps. That'd be good. Patrick Arojo, how are you doing at Mason Milan as well? I bet he's got good tackling. No, he doesn't. Thank God. Otherwise, he'd be a great left wing back. Um, Snapchat. Logan Pye plays for Doncaster. Snapchat plays for Union Saint Malo. Cool. I wore jogger shorts and a t-shirt last time I played golf and got told off, but they let me play. See, that just... That's, don't... Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't mind the dress code thing. I don't think it's great, but the thing that, he, that for golf is like, when it, if you go and play golf, I don't know. This might not be true. I'm not gonna be very good. Like I've done like driving ranges. They're quite fun. Like top golf's fun. Um, I'm not gonna be very good, and there's gonna be loads of people there taking it very seriously. Who are gonna get annoyed by me, and I don't want that. If I want to go and have a nice bit of fun, some old guys in their old white guys who are very preppy about everything. Not for me. That's my opinion on golf. <laughs> Mario Golf is enough for me. I mean, we Golf, I was a legend that. I was a legend that. That's like me going to a footy game and only being able to wear Stone Island jumper with dark jeans and Adidas trainers. That is the rules, I think, Palmer, right? <laughs> but yeah, it is like that. Like gatekeeping it in a sort of way. It's, um, yeah. Alright, Club Vision for next year. They want us to... Qualify for the Europa League. We won the league this year. And they want us to qualify for the Europa League. Did they give us a new budget? No. There's also no offers for Barrios, which is a shame. Don't be at the same club as Roy McIlroy then, you posh boy. Well, when I'm talking about clubs here, I'm talking about the only clubs I've ever been to are ones in Hereford. And they're definitely not posh. I think golf's just got that about it anyway, right? Many of my clubs have mud marks on them before I hit the hit the ground or launch it. Nice. Right, I think we accept that. Do they want us to do the set pieces thing they do? It's a bit annoying when they want us to do that, but that's fine. Um, team leader Sunday, Jurassic and Cuisance. Maybe something to pay attention to. Oh, also, we get another... I think we're paying 100k a week for Alex Bolton, who goes back to Chelsea. So that opens up a lot of wage budget as well, which is good. Do I need to do this or can I not? Oh, I can't remember. Chat, help me with this quiz. Because this is basically a quiz at this stage, isn't it? Do Europa League, right? Qualify for the Europa Cup. Fine. First knockout round, I think, for the Champions League. Was that correct? It's basically a memory test, this. Reach the knockout stages. Latter stages. Reach the Champions League knockout. Reach the Champions Cup competition proper. We won the league. I think that's fine. Put on a good show so we can give a good account of ourselves. Reach the knockouts, I think. Good. Lovely. He's nailed it. I've aced that test. You're better than chat. Clearly. Clearly. Only because I know that basically if you match it up with this. Uh, where is it? If you match it up with this, they're happy. You can go above it and they're sometimes happy. But if you match it up with that, you put less pressure on. Um, okay. These are the most injured players of the season. Jose Gonzalez. We brought him to be a backup and he was up for two months and never played a game. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, where should we go? Where do you want to go, chat? USA, China, Hong Kong, or Singapore? Thank you, Liam. Thank you. I love a bit of praise. Always nice. Um, what left backs are out there? We should have a look at left backs. Yeah, let's look at left backs first to decide whether we loan Zapata again. Um, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, hot USA. Right, we've had literally... Everybody said different ones. US tour. <laughs> Vegas with the lads. Take your team, doctor. <laughs> USA to visit Holgate. Right, USA, I think, has got the most votes. We're going USA. I think we might have gone there last year. Also Tobes, right? Um, oh, are Liverpool no longer interested? Oh, they are. But only for a transfer. Send Tomes home and, send, and leave him there. <laughs> RIP. To, oh, sorry. Everyone vote USA. So that democracy lives. 
everybody vote USA so that democracy lives. Sorry, Dan. Thank you for doing the poll, though. I appreciate that. Everyone vote for USA. So it was going to win anyway. Everyone votes something else now, don't they? I know how this works. Uh, all right. Barrios we wait for. Shall I? Shall I offer out Rivas? His value's so low. Does his value... If we click through and we are now Premier League titles, is there any... Is there likely to be any bumps to anybody's value? <laughs> When's his contract up? Has he got a while left? He's got ages left. Why is his value so low? His value should be higher, right? He's also played games in the Bundesliga. Rep will go up. So I think we wait. Even on some sales, I think we wait. Oh, here's the rest of this. Uh, we won the league. Of course we did. We know this. Oh, we go back to our contract as well. Oh, he's on a tight... Is it because of his wage, maybe? Yeah, potentially. How come America won? It did win. There we go. He must have bad hiddens, which would explain why he doesn't score as well. Look at this. <laughs> Biggest win was a 7-0 away win in the Champions League. Biggest match to remember was a 6-0 win against Leicester in the league, which is nice. We also had a goal of the season for Mario in that game, where he ran from his own half and scored. It was a great goal. Hands has sold the most shirts. That's cool. Jurassic, Bruno, Botta, Mario. I like that group of players. Pretty cool. Jurassic's always up there for shirts sold. I feel like Bruno will be the most next year now. Now that he's also a he's a club icon now as well, didn't he? When did you go out in the Champions League? We went out to Dortmund in the quarters. How do you not selling shirts is bizarre. It is a bit actually, yeah. I, I you might have done. These guys I'd expect to be quite high though. <clears throat> I'm surprised Yoon doesn't as well, being South Korean. I feel like that should be a, a thing to consider. Maybe because he didn't play as many games. Uh there's the team. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everyone over a seven except for Zapata, which is cool. By the way, <clears throat> just look at the goals scored on this. 48 goals from Bruno. 41 goals from Hans. That is... You usually get one of those strikers, right? And you'd be, you'd be all over it saying how good it was that one striker has got loads. Did Iriarte get in? Oh, Venezuelan man made it in instead of Hadji. Hadji's ratings were a bit eh this year. That's the one thing. Mostly goals. Oh, he got 40. I didn't realise he got 40. He actually got 40 league goals. Amazing. I thought he got 30. I thought he got 38. No, he did get 40. Yeah, because we showed it on here, didn't we? He did get 40. He missed two games as well. What a season. What a season it was. I might clip for a few days. I wonder if get get into the next season anyway. Uh, what was your what was the PC football manager game where you could do all of your stadium and stands around the stadium early 2000s? Was it LME manager? Potentially. FIFA manager you could make a stadium. I think it might have been LMA, LMA manager that you could do the stadiums. Which was I really want that type of thing to be back. I, re I really want a stadium creator game to come out just so that I can take, make my own stadium, take a photo of it, and then add it to the game. Total club, maybe? I don't know. They all kind of merge into one. Um, new scouting budget. It was a tax bill of... Geez, 7 mil for next year. 1.6 mil. Commercial summary. Hans was number one. Interesting that Hans is our biggest uh, shirt seller. Everything's gone up, though, which is good. New Sky and Budget. Put it on World. That's fine. Uh, successfully a applied to raise their youth category rating to category one. Good. Good. When do we move back into our stadium? July. 9th of July. So we've got a couple of months yet. Total Club Manager. Was that the one? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Shaggy. You could definitely do it on that one. Ultimate Manager. Was that it? Real ones remember Lords of Football. I did never play that one. What's the one where you were like a chairman? Let's make a football team or something like that. It had a name like that. What was that one? Um, I remember that game. Oh, sorry, I can't remember the name. It wasn't that, but it was something similar to like that. Like, I don't know. New Star Manager has a build of stadium features. Does it? Is it good? Because I've got... I'm in like the, um, the Discord for Stadium Renovator. 
which you can build stadiums in that, but it's mainly like a cleaning stadiums game. But I think that'd be really cool if you could build them and then uh, then I could take photos of them. Basically, like we've got our new stadium, like the spineless here. I'd like to make our, our one of those in a game and then make it. Can I post it? You can post whatever, Palmer. That's fine. Thank you for asking, though, but you can. Oh, is it, Ollie? No, I don't think I ever played that one. Barrios wants a new, new contract. Can I? What do I say here? I don't really want to give him a new one. Because I want to sell him. But what do I say to him? And I have to speak to him. Stadium renovator stream when? When it's out. The game's not out yet. Had that game on my wish list forever. Keeps getting delayed. What, the stadium renovator one, Tom? Yeah, it keeps getting delayed. So it's not out yet. But maybe when it does come out, yeah. What's this new game Kurt is involved in? Not seen. Don't know. Good atmosphere. Where's the good atmosphere one? Nice. Nice. Shager. Good stuff. Yeah, Tom, let me know. If it comes out and I don't notice, let me know. Please, please, like, tweet me or something and let me know if it comes out. Anstos was great back in the day. I don't know what that is either, Kenta. To be honest. We're dropping some frames, by the way, chat. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I don't know what the issue is. We're on, like, the lowest bit rate and... We've also got no internet issues when I did the speed test, but um, yeah, it's, it's I think it's a minor minor thing at the moment, but yeah, sorry. Hey, Leone, thank you for gifting a sub. You've earned that, see? With Leone around, if you do something that's helpful, you might earn a gifted sub in this stream. See a little bit of help. You helped with the the interaction there. Got a gifted sub, Leone. Thank you. Three hundred seventy-four. Chat show some love. Full manager game series with a weird ball as a mascot. Kenta, never heard of it. That's cool, though. Um, Mersenia wins players player of the year. This guy's just called Jay Short. Jay Short is a mad one. It's called Goals Game. Okay. No idea. Is that the Kurt one? It's all going to plan. It is. I'm building my dream company goals, a next-gen football game backed by main, main, amazing VCs and angel investors. We decided to fix it, so we're gonna make the greatest football game of all time. So what? Okay. I mean, it sounds very interesting like that. I don't. I, I, yeah, it's confusing, but it does sound pretty good. Interesting. Yeah, no, 100%. There's always an answer. There's always an answer where you can, like, you can get out of those interactions with the right answer. That's why I always ask you guys. Like, I think I know most of them, but, like, always worth asking. And you can always get a gifted sub, for sure, <laughs> if you answer correctly. Uh, afternoon, miss much league title? Well, Mr. Pav, that is our league campaign. We finished the season on 97 points. Champions of England. You'll never sing that. Southampton. I don't know actually if they have or not been. Is it just me or is disappointing team meeting better than a pleasing one? Uh, don't know. Yeah, we finished on 97. It was quite a season. We won our last game 3-2 because of a Jair Bruno hat trick when we were 2-0 down. And even though Daniel Garvin Jr. played at right back and Ollie French Jr. was in goal. <laughs> we also then, yeah, following that, we then did back it up by winning the FA Cup as well. Just signed the most unreal striker. Nice, Tom. I hope he scores like Jair Bruna does. We also won the FA Cup. Hans getting the winner in the 77th to win us a second FA Cup. Respect D. Garvin Jr. right now. I mean, he's in winning winning, winning games. We also beat Sheffield United 3-0 with uh, Tobias Larone playing and Angus Gunn in goal. We've, uh, we've had a good end to the season there. We're just planning for next year. I think the plan, Pav is to go and try and do this. We're going to make Botta the best right wing back in the world. And the plan is to go and do this. We're going to try and sign Pipers. So basically, I think we spend all of our money on Pipers and then see if we can sign players for the rest of the team. Should do a video on the 442. We should, shouldn't we? That comes out on Thursday. That IL is currently editing. We should do that. <laughs> 
annoyingly, I recorded that before we finished this season off, but if you're here, you'll know. In it, I mention the save and talk about where we are. You should. Thank you. Yeah, we should. <clears throat> All righty. I take no responsibility of my idea of a butter wing back if he fails miserably. I mean, on paper, it looks great, Dirty Dog. And to be honest, it's no, it's no risk strategy because we've got Radas who I know can play there. If you think about it, 6.4 should be above average, but really it's not. 5 out of 10 is average. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, I suppose. Somebody outside my window, chat. It's weird when I'm just streaming and they're just outside the window. I'm like, can we get some pog champs in the chat? <laughs> they can hear it. Uh, I'll definitely do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, six on FM is a stinker. Yeah, it's true. Netflix series should be made on this save. I think so as well, Callum. I think so. Why is five not average? Like, yeah, I don't know. How much money do you have to splash? Not much, surely, boy. Not much. It's not Hutch, I don't think. It might be, to be fair. I don't think it is, though. Um, we've got about 40 million up front. We've also got a bit of wage budget, which should be more wage budget. Like, we can get up to 52. We should get more wage budget when players like Alex Bolton leave and he's on about 100k a week. So he'll go and we should get a bit more. Uh, all good, Pav. Enjoy that. 40 year anniversary is amazing. Enjoy. Have a good day. I'm I'm off very soon as well. Anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to go watch Liverpool, which kicks off in 10. So tomorrow's stream chat will be a full transfer stream, a full transfer stream. But who plays? Who plays me? I don't know. Tom Cruise to play Chair Bruno. Effort till I die coming to Netflix in 2022. I, I'd watch it. Did you like it just win the Champions League? Europa League. United won the Europa League. Follow me. Who won the Champions League? Don't know how she blagged him. Good excuse for a drink. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Denzel Washington is me. I, yeah, I'll take that. I need to go do life. What are you doing midweek? Uh, Why is next week? No streams midweek, Ian. I'm afraid I am in Devon. I'm afraid. So, yeah, no no streams in the week. Love a transfer stream on a hangover. That's the plan. That's the plan. I'll do go and do a little bit of a um a little scout out. Find some players like I usually do. Be ready for tomorrow. Then tomorrow we'll do three hours pretty much, probably. No, there probably won't be any games, but we'll do a full transfer stream, which I know some people absolutely love. So, there you go. Clates to be played by The Rock. The resemblance is uncanny. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I do wake up sometimes and think that. Gun's also going to be leaving. What? He's on 22k. So there's a bit more wages coming in there. Youth contracts to expire. Who's this guy? Did I look at that guy before? He's good. He's quite good, isn't he? Was he only six foot though? Six two? He's six two. So I mean, he passes just. Terry Crews get full resemblance. Yeah, true. What a shame. I know, it's annoying, but one of those things. And I need the holiday. Dortmund reached Champions League final, so not too bad to lose them. Oh, did they? That's good. That's good. Tally what, chat? I think we are, um, we're kind of, we're waiting, aren't we? A little bit neat here. So, I think, oh, Dortmund, they won it as well. Either footed professional centre-back. Yeah, he was good. Re they beat Real Madrid in the final, Dortmund. So, we did lose to the overall winners. We take that, I think. I said to the wife yesterday, if I had a pound for every time I got called Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I'd have zero pounds. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, now I'd have one pound because it did just happen. I know it might have been tongue in cheek, but I'm taking it. We've got another 13 mil there. Ooh. The balance is looking quite nice all of a sudden. Do I ask for more money? I mean, they've only just given us this, but do I ask for more money right now? Somehow there's 64 in there. Very much, yeah. Less of a minus than it was before. We were at minus 30 at one point. I think they'll say no, but I feel like I'm going to ask anyway. I can't. Oh, I should do this though. Because if we're not, we're at 25% revenue, we can't even sell for money at the moment. Can I ask anything else? Wage budget. Increase next season's transfer budget. <laughs> 18 million. Yeah, the transfer is 25%. So we do actually need to do that. I can't ask for more money, but I can ask for more revenue. So let's do that. Rejected? Re what? Um, 
All right, what's the cheat code here? 25% is pathetic. I think they'd increase it anyway. They put it down to 25% when we were at like minus 30 million. Now that we're better, I think it should be fine. In light of the club's healthy financial, JJ is being a bit of a chief here. If I'm to rebuild the squad, they won't. They'll say that we don't need to rebuild the squad. I've made a lot of money. Increased percentage as reward for raising a considerable profit for the club. I'd like to increase, continue to use the transfer market to increase profits. You have to spend accordingly in the first place. What shall I say? Maybe the made a lot of money. Not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure he either here. Can we not start a club protest? I'd love to, yeah. No, they don't usually say no to me either. <sighs> I think it's rather unfair of you to shut me down like that when I've hit every target and reached every expectation asked me. It'd be nice to have some trust in me. They actually said no. JJ's pocketing it. They've actually said no. Even though we've got 64 million in the bank, we've got a 25% transfer revenue. The summer might have just been muddied quite a lot there. Han's got second in Champions League. He got 11 goals in the Champions League. He made the team of the... That is... That's not great from JJ, you know. Surely they increase that anyway, though. Like, just... They just do that anyway, usually, right? Automatically. Young player of the month. Premier manager of the month. Oh, Jay, you happy with... Oh, it's Edu. It's fine. I thought it was Jay Day. Nine goals in four games for Jair Bruno. What, in the Champions League, was it? <laughs> Where did you see that? Oh, in this month. Yeah, this month. He got, yeah, nine and four. Just nine and four. He got... He didn't even get in the Champions League. We only got one player in there. And that was Hans. Imagine only getting 25 million. If we sell a player for 100 million, we get 25 million. That's upsetting. Considering we're actually considering selling some players for 100 million as well. That's very upsetting, isn't it? Uh. Right, chat. On that bombshell, we will leave it there for today. Let me go see who is live. We can set up a little raid. Um, and uh, Tom going to be on the second yellow card. How long is... You probably play this with like Barca. And you'll be fine second yellow card been on for an hour and a half we'll go I second yellow yeah, card like, let's go there we uh we're gonna raid over to you can hear him in the background i'm well aware of that we're gonna raid over to second yellow card because he's a lovely human being uh thank you very much for hanging out chat i'm gonna go and watch liverpool is on till three yeah that's fair i know tom went live at the same time as us so if you want to go watch tom go watch tom but he's been on for a while so he might be stopping we'll raid second yellow card thank you for hanging out gang appreciate you i will see you tomorrow for a transfer stream where we're going to go and try and see what we can do with this lack of money that we've now been given, apparently. See if we can raise some money. See if we can get Pipers. Pipers is the pipe dream. That's what we're going to go for. But thank you for hanging out. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Go, um, go and subscribe on YouTube.